Uh, hello, we are here with the uh, the race finally. Um, sorry about that, we had some technical difficulties. Um, but I think we are ready to go and we uh, are going to be starting our countdown soon um, to get the race started. I am one of your commentators, Spider C, and I'll let my fellow commentators introduce themselves as well. Yep, hello, I am, uh, I'm New Amber. And I'm Leggy Starscream, or just Leggy. Looking forward to this race. We've got three wonderful runners to show off one of the greatest speed games of all time. So yep, true. Exactly. We got uh, two people on Eevee here today. Uh, Ergo, our uh, uh, pot one runner, who is currently ranked eighth. Uh, Saija is also going to be running on Eevee. Uh, our pot two runner, currently ranked 15th. And on the Pika side, we got our pot three runner, Fortunate, who is. Ranked 28th from seeding. I believe Fortunate does have a better PB that they just got. Let me, I can check very quickly. Yes, Fortunate's most recent PB is a 337.59. So it's already seen quite a bit of improvement from uh, the time that. Uh, the tournament signups ended to right now. So it'll definitely be a good race today, um, especially with um, J being one of the top pot twos. Uh, so that'll, uh, I think it'll be a close race, especially on the pot one and pot two. But with Fortunate's improvements, I uh, think they stand a good chance as well of putting up a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All, a lot of it's going to come down to on uh, where what spawns we see how fast we can get those spawns going and our racers are in the countdown 30 seconds until we're ready to start yeah a fun little thing on this intro is that um Unless our runners load a backup save, the uh, gender of the starter you see in the intro cutscene is the gender of the starter you'll actually get. Mm -hmm. And also, this cutscene is the most important evidence to my theory that Pokemon Let's Go is an isekai. <laughs> it, it is. It canonically it is. is. And just, the main character just like just does not care about it. They just roll with it. All right, and we are off. Uh, first thing, the most important thing, which of the characters will our racers be picking? We got uh, yeah, four boys and four girls. Today. I'm a girl three enjoyer. Let's see what we got. I'm a basic ass uh, girl one enjoyer. I, I just uh, did boy one, one too lazy. girl one, and girl two. All right, we got a okay. good mix here. I like yeah. it. I like it. be naming themselves and their main character just one because one character names are the fastest and that's the character your switch cursor defaults to mm -hmm. you could plug in another keyboard and and have some fun with it but <laughs> i don't think anyone in the tournament is currently doing that okay but with when someone you know throwing their keyboard around to do the joy con motions we here at Peak Pokemon Speedrun TV do not condone throwing your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just getting funny. into here. <laughs> just getting into here. Uh, our racers are going to be setting some pretty basic uh, Pokemon options: fast text speed, battle animations off, battle style set to set means that uh, they won't be asked after they defeat a Pokemon if they want to switch. And we're also going to be turning movie skipping on. That allows you to skip uh, about five, I believe, special cutscenes in this game called movies. Um, those movies yeah. are basically any cutscenes that you don't have to mash text through. Yeah, they're pre-rendered cutscenes rather than things like this, where I would love to be able to skip my rival telling me that, oh, hey, your computer's over there. 
<laughs> which I actually, a couple of weeks ago, I went and actually checked that email. There's nothing in it. He sends you an email, but it's empty, basically. Just, just like, like hey, no, we're like, potion gonna... or anything? No, there's no potion. Oh, what? It's just That's like, damn. hey, we're going to get our Pokemon or something to that effect. Nothing else. I was very disappointed. The conversation could have just been the email. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel at work so often these days. Yep. Right? <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to see our racers catching their starter, and you're going to uh, realize very quickly that we've got motion control action going on. Uh, Ooh, we got a great... Yeah, you want to see a great catch, because that means you threw the Pokeball as quickly as possible. Uh, and yeah, this Pokemon, uh, this starter is always 100% catch. You don't have to worry about it breaking out or anything. So the nice thing about the starters is that not only do they have 31 IVs across all of their stats, but they also have boosted base stats from typical EVs and typical Pikachus, so they're quite powerful. Um, here, the only thing that really varies here is their nature. And so, depending on the runners, the runners may choose to uh, reset to a backup save with a neutral nature, if they uh, see a nature they don't like. Yeah, I know. I, I believe Fortunate said they do not have a backup. Okay, so Fortunate will just keep taking whatever nature they get. Right. Uh, let's I don't see yeah, the other runners to check here or if they're going to run with anything. Obviously, for the run, the best natures are ones that boost either your physical or special attack. I know for Pikachu, you want a higher fi you, you want the plus physical attack. I don't know which is optimal for Eevee. Um, Eevee, you help. definitely want... Yeah, I would say, like, plus attack, minus special defense, so Naughty is probably your, the best nature. Right. Uh, so I noticed Ergo did not check, so it looks like Ergo's just gonna be taking whatever uh, Eevee he gets. Sai-J did check, he got Docile, which is a neutral nature, and I believe the characteristic which likes to thrash about uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but basically characteristic is uh, another thing you can see in your Pokemon. And basically, depending on the characteristic, it will bias your AVs to uh, a certain stat. So in What this are game, AVs? I, that's a great <laughs> question, Leggy. Uh, so AVs, basically, instead of having like the EV system in this game, Instead, when Pokemon level up, they gain AVs, which basically just means they get, uh, and every level up, they get a plus one in a random stat. And so, like the Thrash About characteristic means that they're slightly more likely to get uh, AVs in attack, which uh, attack is very good for the EV, so that's a good characteristic that you like to see. Everyone up Route 1, didn't see anybody get any encounters there. Yeah, no encounters. Good. Um, only Ergote managed to trap their starter on the ledges, though. Oh, I, <laughs> I love doing that. It's know, amazing. Like, an almost... That's how I, like, keep my focus during resets. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most fun you can have in the first seven minutes of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily, unlike, uh, some prior versions of this, <laughs> the original, in particular, uh, you get warped back to the lab, and now we're going to see our three wonderful runners getting into their first bit of combat. Mm hmm. Uh, the rival one fight uh, differs uh, a fair bit. Well, it, it's the same in the in the way where you pretty much just spam your attacking move. But uh, for Eevee, it is typically a three shot. But depending on your uh, nature or how many growls you get from the Pikachu, it can be anywhere from like, two to four shot. And you could also get paralyzed by the Pikachu, which could make it take even more time. For Pikachu, it's a pretty consistent four shot, uh, unless you have good special attack and get lucky. Uh, yeah. It looks like Ergo had neutral attacks based on those uh, Yeah, I think it was a rolls. neutral and a high roll in the second one. Mm -hmm. 
Masai crit the second one, I believe. Oh. Masai already had a plus... No, he didn't. No, I lied. He had plus attack characteristic, not plus attack nature. Yeah, unfortunate. Just getting growled at by the Eevee. Uh, Eevee goes down very easily um, as our two Eevee runners pop out. Talk to your friend's big sister to get a whole mechanic that we're not even going to bother interacting with. In fact, Carly, we really yeah. don't want to interact with it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah. I'll, so the, basically the way you, you uh, engage that, like, partner petting thing is by shaking the main Joy-Con that you use. And a lot of the time in this run, you'll want to be shaking your, your other Joy-Con uh, for something we'll talk about a little bit later. So, basically, if you accidentally start shaking your main Joy-Con, you might just accidentally keep going into the partner pet. Uh, so on this fight that we're on right now, are uh, getting into, um... Pika will be leveling up on this fight, and so fortunate we'll be able to see what nature uh, they got. Um, Eevee will not level up here, they will have to wait for one more fight. Mm -hmm. One XP short. Yeah, we will try to see what the stats are. Uh, it might be a little bit easier for the, the stream viewer to see than what we're seeing on our end here. Yeah, what we're looking for is a 14... Uh, attack and a 14 special attack going to a 16 and 15 respectively. Those are the neutral numbers. If yeah. we see variants, um, it will vary. That looked neutral to me. Yeah, that looks neutral. And that looked like a special defense, neutrals. maybe? Yeah, one thing I'm curious to see if any runners will do is opt to catch a uh, bug on Route 2 before entering Viridian Forest. Uh, we recently found out, thanks to Anubis, that the if you catch something before you enter Viridian Forest, you have uh, a boosted catch rate. And so it, ma it makes catching uh, your first bug a lot easier, so some runners will opt to do that. Uh, if they spawn, which a lot of the time they don't. Ooh, yeah, and into a Pidgey though. Pidgey, yeah. Arguably like living up to their name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, choosing to run. Okay. Well, I meant to be looking at uh, Ergo stats when uh, he leveled up, and I was looking at Fortunate Screen instead. So hopefully, either somebody in the chat or we can see at uh, a move teach later on, we can see what uh, Ergo's nature is. I did not catch it. Um, it looked neutral, but I definitely could be wrong. And uh, Sijay's EV, uh, reinforcing your prediction about the characteristic, getting that plus one attack AV. That's really nice. Uh, getting those attack AVs early on for EV. Uh, although it doesn't matter quite as much as on if you're on neutral. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for, uh, like... <laughs> Attack AVs are also really good for Pikachu, um, but really we're just looking for them for everything here. Ergo got through the Pidgey without having sand issues, so that's good. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Eevee cannot one-shot the Pidgey, uh, so we just have to hope we do not get sanded. Mm -hmm. Unless you get the early Pikachu catch and then you can see that. Speaking of early Pikachu catch, uh, not early enough for the Pidgey fight, but Ergo does get a, a nice Pikachu in the forest. A nice little bonus you can get if you're on uh, Let's Go Eevee. If you're on Pika, you know, there's no reason to catch another Pikachu because uh, it won't give you an extra dex entry. Which is, uh, why why are we getting dex entries? That's a really good question. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, to complete the game, you'll need to defeat the eight gyms and then go through the Elite Four. One of the gyms, particularly Koga's gym, the requirement to enter it is that you need 50 unique Pokemon registered in your Pokédex. So that's what the trackers you're seeing right under Fortunate screen. Uh, those trackers are for what each of our racers have caught. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind just for the future is that Sai pre-marks uh, his gift Pokemon so his count is going to be a little higher than the others might be uh, throughout the course of the run. Yeah. The other thing that is really nice about this game is 
we have to go around and enter 50 Pokemon into our Pokedex, which means we're going to be catching a bunch of things that we're not going to be using uh, to do any fights or anything. But catching Pokemon in this game gives an absolute pile of experience points. Mm -hmm. So getting good catches, or I suppose excellent catches, is actually really important for our runners to make it through the run efficiently. Yep, exactly. Uh, so throughout this course, our runners typically will be catching a Caterpie. Caterpie you can easily evolve into Metapod and uh, Butterfree. A Weedle that you can easily evolve into Kakuna and uh, Beedrill. And then uh, for Eevee version, you'll typically see a Bellsprout catch. And for uh, Pikachu version, you'll typically see an Oddish catch. Yeah. Uh... Because the first gym leader is Brock, and all of his Pokemon are rock ground, um, it is current standard routing to use the Oddish on that fight rather than the Pikachu. Ooh. We got a we Frick! We got a Frick! We got no! a Frick! We got a Frick! Any Frick lovers in chat? Did I, I, I predicted yes, I get to steal all of uh, Ekman's points. Congratulations <laughs> on the channel points for everyone who picked yes for Frick. Yeah, so part of the reason we're so excited about Frick, and part of the reasons we did not mention Bulbasaur in our list of typical catches, is because Bulbasaur is a very rare spawn here. I believe it's 1%? It's, it's the rare about spawn. One, about 1%. So, yeah. 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 I think the actual math is, like, a little more complicated, but around yeah. 1. Yeah, the math is weird for the rare spawn slots. Yeah, oh, we got a Butterfree, okay. unfortunately. I, I know we got PsyJ, also got a Beedrill very early in Forest. So we're just seeing all the rare spawn here between our three racers. Yeah. But, you know, one of the things we're looking out for is... You'll notice that looking at the trackers, we've got Cot, which is, you know, somewhere between 4 and 7 right, right now, depending on whether or not you've got your pre-catches marked or not. But we also have the planned, and right now we've got... 50-ish planned for each runner, which means we kind of have to catch almost all the Pokemon that are highlighted. So any bonus catches we see, like Bulbasaur, or other ones we'll talk about as we go through, are going to be really useful for our runners to help mitigate bad RNG if we don't see some of the more typical Pokemon spawning later on. And Sai just had a very good route to Roulette. Um, had to go through and uh, pick up a Bellsprout outside. Um, and not only did they get the Bellsprout first try, um, which Ergote also just got, okay. um, but size Bellsprout got them to exactly level 10, uh, which is critical for the Eevee version to hit level 10 for Brock, um, because while um, Pika uses Oddish to get through Brock, um, Eevee is going to be double kicking its way through the fights. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see if I can catch Ergote's uh, nature here while he's taking double kick. That looks like Naughty. It was Naughty. That is that is the nature you like to see on Eevee, yeah. so that's very good for Ergo. Let's go! Um, while all our two Eevee runners are sitting down and getting through a few evolutions, um, both of the bugs for both of them are evolving right now. Uh, Fortunate is a little bit ahead in the current foot race, though ahead and behind are very nebulous concepts in this run until you get much, much further in just because of the nature of evolutions taking time and where you are in your catch count being a huge influence in how much time you've what are lost over the course of the run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Fortunate's at Brock right now, so they look to be ahead by Sa ahead of Sai and Ergo based on the foot race that Leggy was talking about. However, Fortunate only has four Pokemon caught right now. Sai has six, and Ergo has eight. So I think based on that, I say they're all actually fairly close to each other right now. It, it's pretty hard to say because of the different catch counts. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ergo has 
mentioned in chat that uh, he's gotten four speed AVs. Um, so oh, that wow. is a very speedy EV, despite not being plus speed. Um, the fact that the AVs are coming in at this point is especially interesting, um, because AVs come in cycles. I don't think we mentioned that. No, um, we haven't yet. Okay, so because these were the AVs gained at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I don't remember exactly, I don't know exactly what levels they came in at. Um, if a speed AV was gained at level 6, that same speed AV is also going to be gained at level 16. Um, and so being able to front load those extra speed points um, could come in really clutch for outspeeding some things. Um, yeah. Although I don't know exactly how tough those thresholds are to hit on an EV that isn't plus speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for very high speed, there are, there are a couple of things in the middle mid game that are very, very nice to outspeed. So uh, if Ergo could outspeed those with a plus attack nature, uh, Ergo's EV is looking very good in this race. One thing I noticed is that SaiJ taught double kick in slot one. Uh, yeah, I, so, I was just going to say, I think that's the same move order that Etiquette does. Yeah, different runners will do different move orders depending on like who they learned the run from. Or, um, you know, there are some move orders that are slightly more optimal than others, but uh, you may see different move orders from different runners depending on what they're comfortable with. <laughs> so two runners finished up with Brock. Um, Ergote is uh, not not kicked by Brock and is uh, going into the fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, interesting to note that Ergote took a little bit of extra time to catch a glowing Rattata on Route Two. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, glowing rat Rattata a on Route 2 is something I feel like, especially recently, a lot of runners are, are really liking. Uh, that's because you can get the experience from the rat now, and then you can catch Eradicate le later on, which is uh, actually a lot better than... A, a lot like better of a catch than we thought it was previously, so... Mm -hmm. It allows you to get uh, quite a bit of experience there, and especially uh, because... For Misty Gym requirement, you're going to need a level 15 Pokemon. Getting that extra experience now just makes it so that if you get kind of unlucky in Mount Moon, it's not as big of a deal for these runners. Yeah, and speaking to your point about us realizing that uh, Raticate is an easier catch than we thought, gosh, how long ago has it been since we actually finally got the information about how the catch percentages work? I want to say a year and a half? That sounds about right. I would have said like a year. Yeah. So for the longest time, uh, everyone thought that only the first trainer's Pokeball mattered for determining the catch percentage. Um, and a lot of the routing was based off that, including stopping and how you went about things. But... As previously mentioned, about a year and a half ago, it was discovered that no, in fact, your uh, both trainers' Pokeballs matter for determining uh, your odds of making a catch. And this completely revolutionized a lot of the catch routes. Um, some Pokemon that seemed completely impossible, such as Mount Moon Chansey, were found out to be relatively straightforward. Uh, mm -hmm. Mount Moon Chansey with two Great Balls a great throw and a raspberry is like north of 80 percent somewhere yeah i want to say like 75 ish yeah it's definitely like quite favorable mount moon chansey before we knew about the the second trainer's pokeball mattering was like a yolo strat that you would only do if you were like completely desperate and you were gonna reset anyways but now it's like a legitimate strategy if you're a little short on EXP. And while we were talking about that, uh, Fortunate and SaiJ picked up a two more bonus Pokemon, a Mankey and a Ekans, respectively. Yep, and those are going to be the bonus uh, Pokemon on this route for version exclusives. Um, on this route, Eevee can only get... Um, Ekans as their bonus, although they had access to Pikachu earlier in Forest. Um, well, Pikachu can get either Sandshrew or Mankey here as bonus. 
Mm -hmm. I noticed that Sai J also caught a Rattata on Route 3, which is not something you typically do, but I assume that the Rattata just ran into him, and he thought, might as well catch it if it ran into me. I think yeah. he might have gone for it just to get the early Butterfree Evo. Oh, okay. That's yeah, definitely not it, a bad play either. Yeah, you know you're close on Butterfree, because one of the problems with Butterfree is, at level 13, it learns three moves back to back it's the three status powder moves um so if you get some rough uh luck with your experience pacing in moon you get stuck there having to not teach three moves in a row and so now fortunate is entering mount moon which is the second big catch section um although uh, Pikachu does take a small detour before the, uh, they start their catches, uh, in that they are going to be doing one extra fight um, before doing so. Yeah, so Pikachu, they'll be fighting a Sandshrew trainer before they go down to the bottom floor to get uh, a Moonstone, a Nugget, and some catches, while Eevee version will be getting those items and catches first, and then be going to the Sandshrew trainer. Uh, it just has to deal with wanting to use Oddish for uh, the Sandshrew fight on Pikachu version. Yeah. And now would be a great time for me to ask what will seem like a completely random question. Hey, why weren't the runners just waiting where time starts? Why did we have to go through the whole Isekai cutscene earlier? That is an excellent question, and the reason why is because when the game uh, rolls over to midnight onto the new day, um, any hidden items on the ground that have been gathered already have a 50% chance of respawning. Um, and so what the runners are going to do is when they get to the basement of Mount Moon, they're going to immediately pick up a hidden moonstone, uh, do their catches, get some evos, waste some time down there, uh, and then they're going to check that same spot again. And so if they got there before the date rolled over, then there is a 50% chance that that Moonstone will have respawned, uh, and they will be able to get a second one. Um, it's not a big deal if you'd miss it, but it is just a nice uh, extra catch to get, because you don't need to do anything, you just need to use an extra Moonstone on one of your Pokémon. Mm -hmm. And we plan to catch uh, four different Pokémon in this run that you can use Moonstones on. So, uh, unless you get really unlucky or catches, you hopefully will have two Pokemon to use those Moonstones on. Mm -hmm. And in Pika Route, you basically have to catch one of the Nittos. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, I, you can technically dip it, but it's really bad, and I don't think we'll be seeing that. <laughs> yeah. I will be honest, I do not know the Nidoless strats at all. I, I mean, the Nidoless strats are basically go off notes because you got really unlucky. <laughs> like, there's no strats. Good um, spawn so far for... I didn't see size, but Fortunate and Ergote both got all three uh, Pokemon that you're looking to get in the Moon Basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is... Being a fairy, uh, Paris, and Geodude. Yeah, we'll see if we get any of the extra special bonus Pokemon, uh, the aforementioned Chansey or Clefable, uh, though both of them are fairly rare. Um, and let's face it, we already used our luck up in the forest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ergote was having a little bit of a, a jumpy Clefairy there. Uh, missed the excellent because it kind of jumped in a really awkward spot, but still stayed in the ball anyways. Yeah, I think now would be a good time to, like, do a deep dive into the uh, mechanics of catching. Alright, so, basically, uh, the mechanic of catching, how it works, is that there's this kind of circle that starts really big and then shrinks, 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 and then goes back to really, really big. Um, the, you're going to try to aim in the middle of that circle, and the smaller that circle is, uh, the better catch chance and EXP you'll get from that catch. So you can get a nice bonus, a great bonus, and if the circle is really small, and what the runners will typically be aiming for is the excellent bonus. 
Also, if you bring out the second Joy-Con and bring out a second trainer, you will have a significantly increased attack chance, and the EXP you gain from the catch will be significantly increased. As well, you'll be, you might be seeing runners on some catches using berries, so typically either a Raspberry, which increases the catch chance of a Pokémon, or a Nana Berry, which makes the Pokémon uh, not move around as much. Uh, mm -hmm. I th I think that's everything for catch mechanics. Uh, the, the final thing of note is that if you catch a Pokémon on your first throw, you also get an experience boost. And all of these boosts are mul multiplicative, so our runners are going to try and stack as many of them as possible. Oh, Oop, Chansey. I see a Chansey. Uh, it looks yep. like Oak's oh. is going to be depositing everything uh, he doesn't want to get those level ups. Yeah, so one thing also in this game is that um, if you have a Pokemon in the party, literally every single level up you get on any Pokemon in your party, that's a two second time waste. So if uh, if you caught this Chansey with those three extra Pokemon in the party, you'll be getting a lot of extra levels and wasting a lot of extra times. So Sajay uh, opts to take the opportunity to uh, put those uh, away so they don't, they don't get those levels. Additionally, um, if a Pokemon levels up and learns a move, I think that's an extra two seconds of time loss. Yeah. Second try gets the excellent throw. This is fairly likely to get in now. Nice. There we go. And Yo, GG. Leaving the basement uh, with, I think I saw pretty good XP. And then size XP is now going to be very good. Level 16, yeah. Basically, your goal is to be level 15 by the time you're exiting. So, already being level 16 for Sajay and uh, still quite a few trainers to fight. That's a very good XP, what you like to see here. Oh, and going for oh, a glowing Paris, too. I didn't even have Paris yet, I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, for XP route on the Pika side, um, you typically want to leave the basement, um, at, like, 14, level 14, and then, like, 15 percent-ish up to level 15, uh, and that will guarantee you get to level 15 by the time you get to Cerulean. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's the same thing on the EV side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't get level 15 out of Mount Moon, you can opt to uh, do the Nugget Bridge and Bill section first, and then go to Misty. It just wastes uh, about 15-20 seconds in movement. Yeah, and additionally, there is another patch of grass on the way to town. Um, so depending on what you see there, if you're shy and you get lucky, you can catch one or two additional Pokémon to... Uh, roll that XP over as well. I didn't so, see what Fortunate's level was. Me um, neither. I was actually planning to check on the next fight coming up here. But I think it's yeah. on the lower end of XP, unfortunately. Yep, so for catch count right now, Fortunate is at 11. Sai-J and, Sai and Ergo are at 15 right now. 11 is definitely on the lower end of what you want to see here. 15 is definitely on the higher end. Uh, yes. I say oh. average moon is like 13 Pokemon when you leave. Right. I, oh. I think so. Oh gosh, that Pikachu is only level 12. That's oh, what that I is. thought. I was, yeah. Uh, Fortunate also doesn't have Geodude marked, so hopefully a glowing Geodude will spawn. And mm -hmm. then, yeah then that would be a pretty good bailout. Um, otherwise, this would almost certainly be an early bridge uh, situation. Yeah. <laughs> there are strategies. You can opt to get a, a rare candy in Cerulean City, although it is quite slow to get. It, you pretty much you lose like 20, 30 seconds getting the rare candy because you have to go through like four loading zones for it. Yeah, because you go into a house, and then into the house backyard, and then back and back. And then the menu. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
I tried it one time on a race not too long ago and realized uh, just how not great it was. Mm -hmm. uh, so, while, you know, Fortunate and e Ergo <laughs> are on the same fight, side nice day. blowing chance. <laughs> that wasn't even oh on the catch God. chain. Oh yeah, he got the Paris after. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of the Paris. <laughs> yep, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, one thing you'll be noticing is that these runners are not going to be getting, uh, typically not going to be getting Zubat. Some situations they may catch Zubat, but you don't plan for it here because you have the option to get a much higher level Zubat later on in Rock Tunnel, and that will immediately evolve into Gold Bat. Mm -hmm. um, for Geodude and Graveler, because Graveler is a lot easier of a catch than uh, Golbat, you opt to just catch Geodude here for EXP and then catch the Graveler later for EXP as well. Yeah, and the Graveler catch itself is actually quite good XP. Mm-hmm, yep. Um, here we have uh, Jesse James 1, our first uh, actual double battle. Um, Looks like Ergo is just one X attack on the Eevee and headbutting his way through the line. Uh, mm -hmm. Fortunate is going for the standard uh, Pika setup of an X special attack, uh, going to Thundershock one of the Pokemon, and then use uh, Oddish's Acid to whittle them down. Though the coughing only taking about half there means we're going to get a double hit on it instead of try to spread it down and let the Oddish do spread damage to take care of things. And Ergo was able to um, one-shot the coughing, uh, so uh, with that plus attack nature and the good XP, um, it looks like he's in a pretty good spot for uh, on the physical side of things. Uh, one Not really funny thing I noticed is that... Uh, Oh, yeah, you don't. You typically don't want to get early Spiro because you can catch a later one love in a early ball. Spiro. Really? Yeah. I I wholeheartedly disagree with them. <laughs> Talk to Wave about it. You gotta be Wave. Are you kidding me? Oh, all right. We're gonna have to have a, a, a talk about that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I feel like Furo's a nightmare to catch. Oh, yeah. So it you're is, basically it, just it, losing a catch over the course yeah. of the run. Yeah. I would only catch Spiro here if I was, like, about to hit level 15 and there was nothing else to catch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we see Fortunate and Ergo uh, picking up a PP up from that uh, bush at the top there. Mm -hmm, yeah, that PP up's not going to be used. Instead, it will be sold and it sells for 5,000 Poke Dollars, the exact same value as a Nugget. So it's uh, a very nice... Uh, extra bit of money for our not too much time loss. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that the runners are doing here, uh, Fortune is just about to do, and Ergo Tay just finished up, is teaching the special moves to their uh, partner Pokemon. Um, Eevee gets three different ones one fire one, one uh, electric one, and one water one. Uh, so Eevee has some really good coverage uh, out of those moves and can really get through a bunch of fights by just clicking super effective moves. Uh, Pikachu, I... on the other hand, does not. Uh, it gets one good move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu does get Zippy Zap, which is base 50, power, uh, plus two priority, and always crits. So, like, it's a very good move. Do not get anyone wrong. Uh, and yep, and so then because Fortune is behind on XP, uh, they are going uh, up to the rival fight immediately while Ergote goes into Misty's gym. <laughs> One neat thing I've noticed from these three different runners, so typically nowadays in most people's runs, what they'll do is they will take a not only the Eevee but, or, and Pikachu, but keep one extra Pokemon in their party, kind of through this Cerulean section into uh, the Vermilion section and then on to Route 10. Uh, that makes it so that you have a second Pokemon in your party so that you're able to do two controller catches. Um, 
these three runners are actually going to be keeping three different Pokemon. So typically on Eevee version, you'll keep Bellsprout and then keep it until it evolves to Weepin' Bell, which is what Sajay is doing. Typically on Pikachu, you keep Oddish all the way until it evolves to Gloom, which is what Fortunate is going to be doing. And Ergo, because he got the uh, Bulbasaur in uh, Viridian Forest, he's actually going to be keeping that and evolving that into Ivy Store instead of getting uh, Weeping Bell. Ergo actually kept Bellsprout as well. So he's going Ergo did. Oh, is he? Uh, oh, okay. He didn't have Weeping Bell marked before, that's why. Do you think he just remarked it? And speaking of marking things, Fortunate did mark uh, Geodude. Um, so I, I guess he caught that one early on and I uh, missed the mark initially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ergo had a very standard Misty fight. I think it was a Scald No Burn, uh, which is always good to see. Um, Saije is now entering his Misty fight and hopefully uh, we see the same. Yep, uh, Saije is a seasoned VGC player, so he knows all about uh, the wonders of Scald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also one thing I want to say, I want to give a, a shout out to Saije for uh, actually making the layouts. Oh this. yeah, the layouts are so good. They're beautiful, they're great. And uh, I heard somebody else uh, here uh, help with the, make the trackers that we're seeing on screen. Wow, uh, who, that who would that be? <laughs> uh, yeah, I made the the trackers that are being used. Um, basically, do we just allow it for the runners to use their own trackers, and then everything gets synced up to a server, uh, where then um, you can see it without having to have all of the um, runners screen share their trackers as well. Makes things a little bit nicer on the tech side. Uh, and Saijay was able to get through the Misty fight without any issues as well. And so now we are entering Nugget Bridge. Um, very oh. exciting part of the run. That is a lie. Yippee. Um, <laughs> for the EV side of things, um, everything here goes down to either just a headbutt or uh, a super effective move. Um, and so it's just every fight is a one turn. Um, the other thing, the one thing that's nice on the EV side here is that in addition to just being able to get the one shots, um, you can Bouncy Bubble two of the Pokemon on Nugget Bridge, uh, which Bouncy Bubble will heal up, uh, heal you up. And so then it doesn't really matter what HP you are entering Nugget Bridge, you will always be close to full, if not full, uh, when you exit. Mm -hmm. Fortunate is close to entering kind of the, the one interesting fight we're going to see for the next uh, few minutes here. Uh, there's a Sandshrew coming up. Uh, you can either opt to one controller of the fight and just double headbutt the Sandshrew, or you can opt to bring in the second controller and then absorb it with Oddish. Fortunate looks like he's gonna be, uh, there are going to be two controllering uh, this fight with Oddish. Yep, and with your other turn, uh, you can also heal the Pikachu with a potion. So it's uh, a very nice little strategy. Yeah, having a grass partner to help out <laughs> against Pikachu's electric coverage, given just the sheer variety of ground-type Pokémon we see early on, like, it, it's only like a handful, but you always notice them when you're running Pika. And Ergo did get the uh, the one thing that can go wrong on Nugget Bridge for Eevee, uh, the Meowth used Fake Out. It was unfortunate. Uh, I believe the Zippy Zap beat Fake Out in terms of priority. Man, it's been a while since I played Pika. Uh, <laughs> Let me double check. That. I want to say no. 
Okay. I, I, I feel confident saying no, but yeah, I can check that. Uh, Jiffy Zap, I know, is plus two priority. I believe Fake Out is more than plus two. Okay, so Fake. Okay, so Pika can get hit by Fake Out as well. I wasn't. Yeah, because uh, pulling on the little bit of VGC knowledge I've done, you can Fake Out Extreme Speed. Oh, got it. Oh, okay. okay. Unless I'm wrong and I'm just straight up lying to people, so I'm just gonna double. Chat, just chat gonna... is saying that Zippy Zap does not beat Fake Out. Yeah, it, uh, as of Generation 5, Fake Out is plus three priority. Thanks, Bulbapedia. Size Eevee is already level 19. Wow. That is some really nice early game XP. Yeah. I feel like we're seeing a, from these runners a really big range of EXP, where Fortunate's on very low EXP, Ergo's on pretty standard EXP, and Sage's on very high EXP. So we got a nice uh, little showcase here mm -hmm. of uh, how those play out. Look, we see them. Yeah, and it is also uh, worth noting that for all this discrepancy we're seeing here, it's all going to even out in about two hours when we catch our Starmies. Mm hmm Ergo getting a Meowth and a Venonat spawn on Route 25, which is uh, very nice. Yeah, that's a nice uh, pair of bonuses. I assume that I'll catch both of them. Some people don't like catching Venonat here, but I think because he already went for the Meowth, he'll probably just go for the Venonat as well. Yeah, Venonat's kind of weird because it, like, shimmies back and forth a little bit as it's standing there. And so if you try to throw when the circle is too small, a lot of times you'll just end up missing the circle. And yep, we're going for the Venonat as well. Yeah. I and see, it looks yeah. like Fortune is also going for a catch, um, yep. which, given the EXP situation, that glowing Venonat is going to be very nice. Mm -hmm, for sure. Uh... To note, uh, the Meowth is something that can only spawn on Eevee, uh, I believe. There's kind of nothing really corresponding on Pikachu on this route. It just makes uh, some of the other encounters, like Vinonat, more likely. Oh, and we also got the Ivysaur evolution here already. Let's go. I am curious to see if Ergo will opt to keep the Ivysaur in the party for a while so that he can do those two controller catches on Route 6, or if he can opt to deposit and do a one controller catch. I still have Bellsprout in the back. Bellsprout? I don't... My brain is just like... For... It's what I... When I have Bulbasaur, I deposit Bellsprout, so I think I'm just like projecting that on <laughs> Ergo. <laughs> Uh, and so one little thing here that you can do on this route that Fortune has already done and Ergo is just about to do is you can slide right between those two trainers' visions. Uh, it's actually a lot easier than it looks. Mm -hmm. um, Sly is taking a little bit slow, but we're... Uh, got through there anyway. Go. Yep. Um, and so that's... There's a few different skips that you can do uh, taking advantage of trainer vision. Um, there are two types. There are uh, mount skips and there are not mount skips. Um, this category is NMS, so we will not be doing any of the ones that rely on mount skips, or on, yeah. the, on you to be mounted in order to skip the trainers. Um, but there are still a few trainers that we will sneak past their vision um, to um, get back past what would um, otherwise be a required fight. Mm -hmm. Basically, the difference between mount skips and the non-mount skips is that for non-mount skips, which are allowed in this category, you kind of go around their vision, while for mount skip, you can go straight through their vision. And now all of the runners uh, getting to Bill at almost approximately the exact same time. Uh, we do have some some different catch counts though. So based on the catch counts, uh, Ergo has 18 already, which is quite high for here. Yeah, uh, very high. Sajay yeah. has 17, which is still pretty high. I see average like 14. Uh, 15 for Sajay. Yeah, 15 for Sajay, because Sajay pre-marks uh, Lapras, Lapras and Porygon. Mm -hmm. And then for Fortunate, Fortunate they have 14 right now. 
which is a pretty standard one for the Cerulean uh, split. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so Fortunate picked up a safety lure there, um, just a good extra one to have in case you're getting bad spawns. Uh, and then Fortunate still needs to go down and uh, do the Misty fight, mm -hmm. um, while the other two can go ahead and lose Cerulean right now. Yeah, especially on Pikachu version, there's a very particular catch really soon that you really want to have a lure up for. So taking that extra safety lure for Fortunate uh, makes sense as a safety strat. The good news is that <coughs> if uh, you have the once you have the level 15 on Pikachu, uh, the Misty fights are very straightforward outside of exactly Starmie, since Zippy Zap will outspeed both uh, the Psyduck and the Goldeen here. Yeah, so depending on your level and your stats, uh, the Starmie at the end can uh, be a range for Pikachu. Uh, a range just meaning that uh, sometimes you get the the one-hit kill and sometimes you don't, just based on the, the randomness of um, the rolls you can get from moves. Uh, meanwhile, on Ergo and Sai J's screen, we're getting the most interesting cutscene of the game. It certainly exists. So what are the cutscenes of all time? But hey, you know, at least we get our revives from a backup for free here. Mm-hmm. Like, ideally you never need them, but hey, you know, at least you got them. Well, yeah, if you're two seeing Geo, you definitely want him. <laughs> yeah, there is one safety strat we'll see if the runners go for way later, where you'll you'll need one if you are doing that safety strat. Fortune is going for their Starmie hits. And went down. Always a sigh of relief there. Uh, so now we are entering the next catching, the main catching section. Um, as was said previously, there is a Pokemon uh, here that Pikachu really wants, um, while Eevee just is looking to get some more XP and some more um, catches. Abra for Psy. Um, that is a very nice bonus to get. Um, although it is just moving back and forth. There we go. Um, it's a fairly rare spawn, and you can kind of get into trouble when you try to catch it, because if uh, you walk in front of the Abra's vision, it will immediately despawn. Um, and so being able to uh, sneak up on it is uh, pretty critical uh, in order to be able to get the catch. Uh, and it looks like we're having some technical difficulties on Ergote's side. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get that cleaned up soon. Yeah, um, I wasn't specifically looking. Did Saije nanab the Abra or no, did he, the Optic uh, as well? Raz did, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been noticing some runners like to, to Raz Abra recently. Oh, 
Oh, Saige offering to pick up the guards back here. I guess that means that Saige won't have to buy one in the shop. Yeah, it saves a, saves a nice 700 bucks. Uh -huh. I guess if you're already walking over there, it might as well be worth going for. Yep. Saige taking this vermilion skip a little bit slow, but makes it through. Nice. <laughs> Can you, yep, you can, can just you walk a good skip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, do we know how wide of like wiggle room we have to make that skip? It's that bigger than you think it would be, but also it's not like so big that it makes it like completely free. Yeah, I think yeah. you have a tiny bit more wiggle room on the left side, but yeah, typically I go a little bit left of center. Mm hmm. Um, there are some nice little arrows on the ground uh, to help you line it up. Yes, yeah, so Jay doing uh, his big shop right now. Gonna be buying a bunch of great balls, X items, lures, uh, looks like a rappel here as well, escape ropes, uh, and this will like we'll probably won't be seeing another shot for at least another hour so and it looks like we've got ergo stream back up thank you tech thank you tech um so i we don't know exactly how ergo's route went um but it looks like the only thing that sai got on the route was that abra uh so that was a nice bonus to get the abra but unfortunately nothing else uh of you spawned yeah, for Ergo, I see a Vulpix marked. Uh, let's see, I don't see Jigglypuff marked for Ergo. G is also marked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it looks like it was a Vulpix Pidgey catch for them. On that one. Fortunate opt-in to get a uh, Glowing Rattata here. I am curious to see, this Rattata will be level 17, which is pretty close to Rattata's evolution level of 20, so I am curious if Fortunate is going to opt to deposit Rattata and just catch a rat and maybe try to catch a Raticate later, or just evolve this one. It is three levels in a move if you evolve it here. That is true. Interestingly, all three of our runners have gone for early Rat now, then. Uh, so they all have the option of getting Raticate um, for a nice EXP bomb later on. Mm -hmm. And I don't blame Fortunate for wanting to go for that rat uh, there, especially with how low their overall XP routing currently is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the glowing Pidgey that's okay. currently on the screen will definitely help with that as well. Yeah. Hopefully uh, we can catch what uh, Fortunate's peak of level A to see. Uh... How much higher it's gotten. I think that's 18. Uh, it looks like Almost 18. Almost 19. Is. Yeah. Which honestly, it, like, that's pretty standard around here, like kind of around that 19-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did get a Jigglypuff, which is also really useful. Mm -hmm. uh, still looking for a dog. Yeah. Oh, we're getting the early Psyduck as well. So you can opt to catch Psyduck now, or you can opt to try to catch it on a Rite 17 later and evolve it into Golduck. But yeah, they are getting everything except what you need here. Let's yeah. Right. Either, either a Growlithe or uh, an Abra to evolve into Kadabra. Mm hmm. And looking at uh, Fortunate's tracker, uh, they still do have some wiggle room uh, with their planned catches. Um, but catching a Golduck, for instance, is going to be uh, a little rough. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Oh, that way. So, yeah, so they... Uh, entered the guardhouse and exited. That just resets all the spawns, and it seemed to be a really good play for them. Guys, yeah. uh, getting the Growlithe and the Abra there. 
So, uh, Fortunate is getting stacked on catches now. I think... Let's see. Oh, Ergo did mark Abra as well. Oh, you're right. So, we got three Abras. <laughs> wow. Abra's only a 5% spawn on that route, I believe. So, pretty lucky to see all three of our racers get that here. Um, and then, meanwhile, Ergo and Sai have been on their uh, third rival fight, um, which is a fairly straightforward fight for Eevee, um, especially given their natures. Uh, it can sometimes be a problem if you have minus attack, minus special attack, or minus speed. Um, problems can manifest in different ways depending on which one of those you have, um, but neither of them had any issues uh, given their natures and XP situation. All right, just take another look at catch counts right now. Ergo is at 21 right now. That's pretty high for the SSN. Uh, Fortunate also looked to be a, a, about 21. I don't know if everything they caught is marked yet, but I, I think, think everything. I think the tracker is updated for Fortunate, yeah. Yep, and then uh, Sajay at 16, which is a little bit lower than the average, but I think is still fine for him. Yeah, I, all, all three runners have been getting some fairly good bonus Pokemon. Um, mm, I agree. Here. So I don't think... I don't foresee too many issues on the, the catch routes, unless someone has a, a really bad tunnel or um, 10. Oh, fortunate. They were having problems with that Pikachu EXT before, but now they're level 20. Oh, jeez. Before Vermillion, <laughs> so... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Ergo looks like they they ha uh, Ergo looks like he had missed the trainer skip on the way down because he walked right in front of the right oh. trainer. Well, meanwhile, fortunate they uh, they missed it on the way down as well. How are these um, two trainers for the Pika side? Because I know on Eevee it's just a one shot either way. Uh, it's a Bellsprout and a Charmander, I believe, which are both. Not amazing for Pika, but I believe they're just two shots. Okay. You may have to. I'm trying to remember if you have to worry about your 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 power points though. You so a little a little less punishing for Eevee to miss yeah. the skip. Mm -hmm. It's not really bad for either version though. You're yeah. not like at risk of dying. In fact, on uh, Eevee, if you hit the left one, you can get some HP back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know uh, we talked a little bit about uh, Pikachu's Zippy Zap, but did we uh, talk about the diff what the different uh, special moves that Eevee gets to do? Yeah, so I talked a little bit about Bouncy Bubble. Uh, so that is the water move that heals you. Um, the other two that we currently have are Buzzy Buzz, which is an electric move that always paralyzes. And then we have Sizzly Slide, um, which is a fire move that always burns. Um, the other thing that's relevant here is that Sizzly is a physical move, while Bouncy and Buzzy are both special moves. Um, when we get to Celadon, uh, Eve will, will be picking up yet another special move, um, which is going to be Glitzy Glow, which is a special psychic move um, that always puts up a light screen. Yeah, and we see over on the Eevee side of the screen, uh, we are soloing these trainers with just the Eevee. Um, when uh, Fortunate's going to get there with Pikachu, we're going to have to take either a Evolved Kadabra or the Growlithe to pair with the Pikachu to get through those fights. Mm -hmm. So, Sai-J and soon Ergote after this fight here will be coming up to uh, kind of what I would consider to be the big catching section of this uh, run. 
You're going to be heading on to Route 10 first, which there are a bunch of different things that you're going to be wanting to catch in here. Then right after, you'll be heading to Rough Tunnel, and there will be a bunch more things you want to catch. Uh, particularly on Route 10, the five things you typically like to see are neither in female, neither in male, uh, some sort of rat, uh, big or small, depending on what you've gotten before, uh, Krabby, and Spiro. So you don't need all five of them, but uh, the more you get, the better your situation will be. Unfortunately, Ergote missed the two shot on the Raticate, um, even with the plus attack nature. Um, went for the headbutt times two, uh, but didn't quite get the range. Yeah, even if you have good attack on Eevee, that's still a, a pretty difficult range to hit. Um, and one thing that we talked about but never checked up on um, was, at least I didn't see one way or the other, um, double Moonstone. So from looking at the plan counts, it looks like Psyj uh, did get double Moonstone while the other two did not. Psyj, the only thing I saw him get was in the around female so far. Yep, I believe so. so. Got a hero now. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely very sad when you get to see like a bunch of heroes spawn because Vero is a, a terrible catch that you pretty much almost nev never go for. On Ergo's side though, it is time for Crab. Crab and Spiro so far. Not a bad start to 10. Um, those tend to be the ones that you seem to have less luck getting most of the time. Unless you're playing Pikachu, in which case Nidoran Male is, like, conspicuously absent. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, on uh, Route 10... Uh, the game is only able to spawn four things at a time. So if our uh, runners see four things, four Pokemon spawn on the screen and they don't want to catch any of them, they can either opt to start this rocket fight that Psyche's on to reset the spawns, or they can also opt to uh, use a repel and then lure again to reset the spawns as well. Or if they're satisfied with what they have, they could also opt to just leave and head into Rock Tunnel. <laughs> Yeah, the repel that we bought exactly. Oh! <laughs> oh, hello! Um, I spawned right on top of He deposited right before. Oh, it oh, did go oh, for oh it. no. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Route 10 Shanty is uh, quite a difficult patch. Like 57% with excellent raspberry double grape ball. Jeez. We've been seeing a lot of chances in this tournament, I feel like, yep. so far. Uh, Sai is going back up to check the route once again, but these spawns are not looking... Okay, there we go. Oh. There's something. Get up. Oh. <laughs> by the hero. So then... Going to get that eradicate. Hoping for some goody, goody XP here. It looks like the only thing that Sai is missing here would be eradicate if you wanted to stick around for that and try to get the extra EXP bomb. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no Krabby either. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Krabby is only 10%, so it's not super uncommon to, to not see it, but it's, always, it's very nice to get. And also for yeah. Raticate, there's uh, a lot of different places you can get Raticate, so if you don't get it here, it's not like you're losing it forever. Um, and with 54 planned without Krabby, um, Sai is in a pretty good catch situation, even if the mm -hmm. Krab doesn't show up. Yeah, at the end of the day, all this work, to try and skip Tentacool. 
Yeah. Cruel. So that's, that's the difference between a good cat situation and a bad cat situation is, do I need Pentacle? <laughs> Gee, ooh. Everte is cruising on catches right now. Yeah. I'm seeing 58 planned. I'm seeing 29 Jeez. caught right now. I don't, even, I don't even. Is that true? 29 caught? Really? Here? That is maybe one of the highest I have ever seen, if that is accurate. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm happy to have 29 caught coming out of Rock Tunnel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That is. That is very good for Eric. Okay, because now, if you, if you get a lot of catches now, you don't really have to worry about those, those spawns later. Mm -hmm. He has so many that I he might have to start work, worrying about if he accidentally overcatches things. Right. Yeah, there might you be start worth pairing, starting to pair these down. Normally, you don't generally start pairing down your catches until after leaving Rock Tunnel. That's when you really want to figure out exactly what you need exactly. Um, <laughs> but when you're this far ahead on catches, it's it's sometimes worth taking a look at it a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> I don't even think Ergo has Nidoran's email either. No, it does not. Yeah. Sometimes, if your catch comes low and you see that, that need arena and you don't have Nidoran's female, sometimes you just go for it because you need the catch, but, uh, Ergo's Perusian that definitely does not need that need arena. Yeah. And, yep, he's unmarked uh, need arena female in need arena. Our eyes the plan. And then Sai is now going in on there or his uh, tunnel catches. Um, so far, has gotten Cubone and Zubat, um, two nice ones to get uh, early, especially because uh, just get the XP on them. Uh, mm -hmm. Cubone especially takes quite a bit of time to evolve. Mm -hmm. As Fortunate is doing the second uh, Route 9 Puppy oh, no! Well, oh, goes no. Down. Puppy no! Oh. Well, at least you don't have to set set, set that up later. Yeah. Well, now now look, the, the puppy's already dead, you don't have, yeah, you don't have to KO it later. You're gonna get the free heal on. Oh, if you deposit, I suppose. There's, I forget if free heal deposit uh, heal your box or not. I don't think they do. Oh yeah, I, I guess typically you pull it out when you're flying back from Celadon anyway, so you'd be walking over the free heal spot regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, I was gonna say the Laurel I heal. Oh yeah. Ooh. Sai J, uh, she's a Rhyhorn on the screen, right past this trainer. That's something that's really good to get. Uh, yeah. So in in this game, there's no bike. Instead, uh, if you want to move faster, you gotta to catch a Pokemon that you can ride. Rhyhorn being um, one of the the faster ones that you can ride. Uh, it especially matters for Eevee version because uh, on Pikachu version, if you don't get Rhyhorn, you can just opt to take your Growlithe and evolve it into Arcanine uh, fairly soon after, but Eevee version does not have that option, so no Rhyhorn is a lot of time lost. Yeah. Uh, fortunate heading into Route 10 finds a Spearow right away. Um, also a Rat spawned, but we haven't seen anything else yet. Uh, the other nice thing about the early Rhyhorn on Psy J's side is that it was a glowing Rhyhorn, um, which is a really good chunk of XP. Um, mm -hmm. And given his early um, XP early as well, um, this might be early double edge, um, which is which can be very nice for Eevee to um, that level. Already high twenty five and just yeah. barely starting Rock Tunnel. Um, and so double-edged strats, uh, if he wants to go for them, can be very nice in hideout, especially. It looks like he'll be able to do a sizable deposit as well after that mm -hmm. catch. Yep. Uh, he'll, he'll want to do a menu anyway to get that Rhyhorn in the party so you can ride it, so might as well just deposit all these evolutions he doesn't need. Meanwhile, Ergo, 
getting that uh, Rhyhorn right at the beginning of the second room. So very nice for both of our EV runners here, getting that Rhyhorn pretty quickly. Ah, fortunate getting the large, uh, running away from the large Nidorino. Need I do not want to go for that. Yeah. Looking for that which, Raticate instead. Which, given that fortunate has the Nidoran female, you don't necessarily need uh, a Nidoran ma male or a Nidorino, but they still do help a bunch. Um, but you really want the Nidoran male... Because if you get Nidorino proper, um, it doesn't have Poison Jab, based off of the current levels and the move learning structure. Yeah, and uh, a very nice chunk of EXP for Fortunate. They're going to be getting uh, quite a few evolutions here. It looks like Gloom, Firo, and Nidorina here. Mm -hmm. The Fortunate screen is going to be busy for the next minute and a half. Yeah, <laughs> you can take a look at the, where the other runners are at right now. Yeah. Um, Sai J also in the middle of evolutions. Uh, just moonstoned Nidor uh, Rina into Nitto Queen, switching things out with the Rhyhorn catch uh, so that he can go fast. And so it looks like Sai J, uh, the other fast way to do hideout for Eevee is to uh, actually use a Nidoking as your second Pokemon, emulating Pikachu to a degree. Um, and with Sai J depositing both Nidorino and Nidoqueen, uh, it looks like he's either going to be doing standard strats or hoping he gets the XP for uh, Double Edge. Yeah. Maybe this grab was going to give a lot of XP and get that level up. <laughs> was that Onyx in the background? I mean, it is Rock Tunnel, or Onyx is 10% spawn, so at, at any point, I feel like the answer could be, <laughs> yes, there's an Onyx on the screen. Ergo, walking in circles around that spinner, that was impressive. Yeah. Oh, well, there, there's an Onyx for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that bat did not want to be caught. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, as you can tell, that Zubat uh, loves to sway back and forth and move around, so most of the time, runners will, will not be trying to go for excellent there. They'll typically just throw uh, the, the straight ball and hope it gets in. Yeah, the, the catch rate on Zubat's not too bad, so as long as you make contact, you have a decent chance of getting in. <laughs> Uh, fortunate, finally, out of all of the evolutions, also finds a Krabby. That's the Honnix on the Ergo case. There were no avoiding that one. Yeah. Oh, he's got Yoda for it. He's going for it. Yeah. Hey, hey, come on. He's getting me so slow. I'm going to be really hard to find him. Honnix is going to be very, very bad at that rate. Yeah, yeah that's actually pretty typical. It breaks out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. From it. I, I agree with that. I've got to weave around this right horn here. There we go. I think Sai and Ergo have both been avoiding a few right horns, so maybe one of them goes over to Fortunate's game. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I love the new Rocket Hideout strats with Rhyhorn. They're so cool. Yeah, there's, I feel like now in, in 2023, there's, like, so many different Rocket Hideout strats in both games, I can, I can barely remember most of them. Sai so opting to 2C this fight. Um, I actually don't think I've seen this version as a, this fight as a 2C. Oh, I believe you can... He can do the bounty bubble fight? I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. Bounty so bubble with... X special. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it gives you some nice healing for uh, the next fight after. 
Yeah, this is also uh, a strategy that kind of emulates how Pikachu goes through this fight, uh, where you set up uh, a X attack on Pika, Zippy Zap the Machop, and then you helping hand double kick the Rhyhorn. Yeah, for Pika in particular, those, uh, those Rhyhorns can be quite annoying, so you don't really have a water move or a grass move to deal with them. So uh, yep. doing that two controller double kick plus the helping hand really uh, helps out. And Sai is, I believe, just looking for a Machop at this point. Um, and he just hit 27, so I um, would be hoping that Machop gets him over the line to 28 or close enough. Pegotek is being bombarded by the Onyxes. I'll be out soon enough, so... Ooh, fortunate getting a very fast Machop, which is always... There was a Zubat there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something glowing on Fortunate's screen that we'll be able to see a little better. It is Rock Tunnel. No cheater pallets here. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at Ergote's tracker, he does not have Machop or Graveler marked right now. Sai J also finding the chop. Uh, okay, so then that's that's a perfect tunnel for Sai J. Yeah. As, assuming you're not counting for uh, rare char. Yeah, I haven't seen any Kangled <laughs> or rare char yet. <sighs> I've done enough diploma runs that I do not want to see a Kanga. Ergote only, I think he only got four Pokemon throughout that entire rock tunnel, including evolutions. Yeah, I believe so. Um, going, exiting with only 33, only, in quotes. <laughs> um, but that is a very small jump given uh, what he had entering tunnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think probably part of it is that, uh, you know, Ergo probably already had some of the evolutions that you normally get in Rock Tunnel. You probably got them much earlier on Route 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so now Ergo is going into the next rival fight, uh, which once again we will be two seeing. Um, what's as I mean, the same thing with Rival 3. This one doesn't have too many issues with Pika or with Eevee unless you uh, do have a bad nature. Um, so I don't expect any issues here. Mm -hmm. If you have uh, bad speed, the Pidgeotto can outspeed Eevee and then you can't attack, which uh, I'm pretty sure every Pokemon player knows how fun of a move sand attack is. Uh, also, if you have bad special attack here, then the Pidgeotto may not uh, die from one buggy buzz, which uh, leads into the sand attack, which uh, every Pokemon player knows how <laughs> wonderful sand attack is. So, uh, yeah, sand attack is great, that. except when I try to use it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then Gloom came out second here, which means it's going to be X attack Sizzly. Um, if um, Rival decides to send out his Raichu second, or is it just Pikachu at this point? Yeah, Raichu. Um, you can actually buzzy buzzle, bouncy bubble, and then drill run, uh, which actually uh, Ergote is opting to do here anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a, a little bit faster because you get that that uh can get that EV healed up in case uh, Raichu attacks it, but it's also a little risky just because draw run can miss. And it's uh, not a great time if it misses. And for Rival 3 Enjoyers, we've got Sai J going in as well. Okay, my tracker just blew up for a second locally, but it's fine now. Oh, I saw the exact same thing on my end too. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> it I looked over and everyone was at zero, and then it came back to everyone being at their the normal camps. 
And it doesn't appear to have impacted the stream, so we're good to go. Yeah. Very good, very good. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of looking at trackers, uh, looking at the numbers right now, Ergote is sitting at 33 caught. Uh, Sai J is sitting at 31 caught once you factor out the gift Pokemon. And Fortunate sitting at 32. So everything's kind of evened out overall in terms of number. And mm, these are yeah. some very solid numbers to have as well at this mm-hmm. point. Yeah, especially, uh, especially for Fortnite. The, right, yep. Yeah. Still Were you the about to say that? Off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though it is worth noting that with Fortunate not having uh, the male Nidos, uh, that does leave them with only 51 planned, um, which is in my opinion, always the worst number to have planned. Well, let's see. Right now, they don't have Nido Queen on their plan, but I assume that they're going to go for Nido Queen since uh, mm-hmm. they don't have yeah. the Nido Mail. So that would make it a 52 plan. Yeah. Which, in general, with this run, uh, most Pokemon that you're going to catch, especially after Rock Tunnel, are going to evolve once, so every catch you do can kind of be factored as two Pokemon towards your tracker. So you really want to have those even numbers in order to line things up appropriately. And yeah, as we saw just a brief moment ago, the uh, tracking on which Nido, on Nido Queen switched over. And Ergote is about to enter content. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is metronome time. Wait, did... Oh, Ergote, Nido King. Nido King. Oh, okay. Never mind. No content. Never mind. Here. Never mind. Yeah. It's, it's IJ going to be entering content, though. I'm not sure if they got double like I wasn't fully paying attention. I don't think Sai-J has hit 28 yet, but I could be wrong. I think he might get it on this fight. Yeah. And sadly for Fortunate, uh, this, uh, without Nido King, that is double Zippy Zap Town. Content, content, content. <laughs> Ergote electing to go up and around uh, the uh, enclosed grass bush. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep, so you can cut the bushes there and get the Firestone. Uh, it, typically, it's a fair bit slower to cut through than to go around, but if you, there's things that can spawn there that you want, then it could be an option to cut through there and hopefully get some of those catches. Mm-hmm. And so I did have Double Edge, so it was a nice one shot on the Uncle Fairy. Isn't it weird that the two uh, Eevee runners got one shots there, and then Fortunate the Pika player is gonna have a two shot? Usually the other way around. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other big thing that's in this patch of grass is that item ball right there next to Sai J, which has a Firestone in it. Good, which I imagine to this it's perfectly planned. Wow. <laughs> I could not have drawn that up better myself. Will the, will the Vulpix go into the party? That's like so perfect if the Vulpix goes in. Um, but while yes. we're waiting... Yo! Perfect. Goes right to the party. You can... Uh, next menu, that's how you decide to do. You can just use that fire stone right away. <laughs> Ergote has entered the rocket hideout. Uh, going to take on the trainer guarding the poster. Um, I'm just going to say this for myself. Don't forget to talk to the poster after beating this trainer. <laughs> Talking to posters is my favorite pastime. So true. Um, so with Ergote having um, Nido King and Sai-J having Double Edge, we'll be able to see both of the um, two... Uh, I'll say advanced strats for Eevee for getting through Hideout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, shout out to, uh, to Kick and Run Key for taking the, the Nido King strats from Pika and kind of transferring them into Eevee. It's actually, uh, I think a lot of runners are starting to do that more recently, and uh, it's quite good. Yeah, it's wild how the strats for this game have continued to evolve over time. Like, this game came out in, what, 2017 or something like that? Uh, somewhere around that. It's been like Sounds five right, years yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Hideout is changing like every other month, it seems like. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, yeah, every every single, like, every six months, I feel like there's just, like, some huge route change or new advanced tech for this game. And I feel like there's always, there's almost always, like, a, a contingent of runners still, still playing. And I think this was a glowing red on Sajay's screen, so EXP was already good, and it's about to get really good. <laughs> Not that it matters uh, too much for this point on your Eevee at least, but uh, it could mean the extra Evos come in a bit sooner than they might otherwise. Yeah, that rat was a little feisty with the attacks there, but uh, got in after the, the throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're on Fortunate Screen, uh, taking on... God, I forget her name. Sophia. Mm-hmm. I just know every time I try and 1C her, I wind up burned. Oh, yep, that's why, uh, that's probably why <laughs> Fortunate opted to 2 see that fight, to, uh, mm -hmm. not have that burn chance from the Vulpix. I somehow have yeah. never been burned on that fight, and I know it's just gonna happen How have you never been burned on that fight? I don't I feel know. like I get burned there like, half my runs. <laughs> right? I, it, it's gonna happen in my race, and I'm not gonna know what to do. <laughs> yeah, even more awkward on Eevee, you can also opt the 2 see but it's really awkward because the... Unlike on Pika, the Kadabra is faster than the Eevee, and the Kadabra will usually just wipe out whatever Pokemon you have in your second, uh, second trainer. Oof. Yeah. Uh, over on Saijay's side of the screen, uh, we see him picking up Glitzy Glow, the final special move that Eevee picks up, as well as talking to the fortune teller in the corner who, for the low, low cost of 10,000 Poké Dollars, will ask you a little quiz about flowers, and then maybe something miraculous happens uh, that sets all the Pokémon you're going to encounter for the rest of the 24 hours on your Switch to have a specific nature. To be honest, for 10,000 Poké Dollars for that, that's a pretty good deal, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that basically eliminates uh, any sort of... It, it eliminates a 1 in 25% chance variance from the starters that we're going to go up and catch next. Well, the Pokemon we're going to catch next. <laughs> um, in particular, uh, because our main for the back third of the game is going to be Starmie. Uh, that sets things up really nicely. And Fortunate exited uh, Tunnel um, with 35, which is a very respectable catch count. Uh, mm -hmm. Exiting Tunnel. Yeah, Fortunate's gonna be half the doing going to have to do the uh, Rava 4 Nido Queen fight, which is uh, typically a turn slower than the Nido King fight, so hopefully yeah. nothing bad happens here. Yeah, the Pidgeot is always a little scary if your attacking stats aren't uh, fully up to snuff, but luckily... Uh, the Pikachus either got good enough stats or hit the range to get the one shot on the Pidgeotto. Uh, Gloom is two turns, uh, whereas if you have a Nato King, it's only one because you can just hit the poison jab there. Ooh, nice shot in the sleep powder. Yeah, you'd really love to see that. 
Ooh, fun little thing right now. All three of our runners are at 35 Pokemon caught. So they are exactly even on catch count. Let's go. Get your comparisons in now because it probably won't last. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> compare where our runners are at, this is this is the time to compare. Um though it is worth noting that Nino Queen has one parentheses one advantage over Nino King, and it's the hypno fight that Sai J just finished up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nino Queen hides that super effective crunch. It typically take out the Hypno in one shot. <laughs> yeah. So after, after Saija, uh, not Saija, after Ergote goes through the little spinner, like you'll hear, he's gonna be heading into the kind of gauntlet of Rocket Hideout fight. That being uh, the second Jesse James fight. The first Archer fight and then the first Giovanni fight. Uh, I am curious to see which strategy Ergo will go up go for on Jesse Games. I would assume it's just the typical Eevee strategy where you use uh, Glitchy Glows mainly to take out the Weezing and Arbok. But you can also opt to go to use Rhyhorn and Drill Run the tail. I believe uh, the drill runs, what, 90% accurate? 95. 95. Yeah. Just yeah. Don't roll a one on your D20. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Gen 1 misses here. So true. Oh, are you going to opt to go for the, the Rhyhorn fight? Let's see how this okay. Glare and Toxic. Okay. Oh, okay. Power? Okay. This is an interesting fight. Oh, I didn't get the one shot on Arvok. Oh. Okay. This is such Let's... a fascinating fight. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I think I don't. I think he meant to, to select. Oh, there's a lot of. There's so many. So much that just happened in the last like 20 seconds. Uh, Both show that. Maximum oh. acid. Oh, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Using, uh, oh, oh my god! Critical gosh. from that poison jab. Okay. Oh, he goes down. There's there's so much that just happened right there. So the drill run on Arbok with at plus two attack is uh, usually a pretty good range, but Ergote missed it. I think Ergote meant to try to fury attack the Arbok, but accidentally targeted the Weezing. Uh, and then because both uh, Eevee didn't never use Glitchy Glow, so Eevee never set up the light screen, that combined with the crit that uh, he got from Arbok meant that Eevee just got wiped out. So uh, that didn't go well, but the most important thing happened is that he, Aragorn made it through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you normally menu after this fight anyway, so mm -hmm. the fact that you have to revive Eevee isn't the end of the world. Yeah, and at this point in the game, the experience you're getting from the fight is not that critical. So even the fact the only real time loss here was the extra menu to use the revive, which is trivial. Uh, and so then next up is the first archer fight, uh, which thankfully is much better than the second archer fight. <laughs> yeah. Instead of archer one and archer two, could we just call them good archer and bad archer? I, I don't know if I'd I call it like good I'm archer. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's, I'm gonna go so far to say it's good. Neutral archer and bad <laughs> archer. How about that? I'll take it or leave it. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, typically this Weezing is a two-shot. Uh, if you have very good special attack, you can one-shot the Weezing. But uh, it looks like it's going to be a two-shot for Ergo as usual. And then the Golbat is typically a one-shot. Uh, yes, the Golbat, you. unless you have uh, amazing speed, will outspeed you though. So that is something to keep in mind in case your, your Pokemon have low HP. 
Right, and that's the unfortunate thing about um, this fight, is that uh, although Ergo's not opting to heal, it could've, um, and then wouldn't have to heal before. Oh, it, okay, never mind. It was a two-shot. It didn't one-shot with Glitzy. Yeah. So never mind, that was a cool play. Oh, yeah, that makes sense then. And lower level. You're typically level 28 or 29 here, but at 27, the range becomes uh, a lot worse. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it seems like most of the time if, when you want to uh, get through that fight at full HP and you spend your third turn healing up Eevee and then it just targets Eevee anyway. Yeah, uh, that, that's yeah. pretty typical for me. <laughs> uh, Sajay entering Jesse and James as well. Uh, yeah. While Ergo is going into Geo. Looks like Sajay's Oops. doing the uh, Glitchy Glove fight. And Fortunate has entered the hideout, about to go into the Hypno fight. Okay, so Ergo's gonna X attack. Uh, gonna set up, use that Simply Slide to get the burn oh. damage. Oh, wow. Okay, so Ergo really needs to heal here, yep. Yeah. <laughs> this has been an unfortunate second half of Hideout for Ergo. Yeah, I just think Ergo's Eevee is just, like, not very good. So, well, the, uh... the Eevee is... Yeah, it has a, like... Because we know it's plus attack, so that's good. And then he was getting speed AVs, which... Kind of help, but not really. But I think the really the real kicker is the fact that it was only 27 for these fights. Yeah. The difference between 27 and 28 for these fights is uh quite a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sajay is Sajay through is Jesse good. James without too much issue. Meanwhile, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay some attention to Fortunate screen because I have it's been I'm not sure if I've ever done Nido Queen strats before, so I don't even remember what the strats are here. So uh, I'm gonna be learning along with everybody else. I just don't know anything about, about the Pika route, so <laughs> <laughs> I learn every time I, don't I know the Pika route. Attack Zippy. Okay, you just Zippy Zap this fight. What do you do on Roll Orb? Um, I think you can get away with a second X attack or a helping hand headbutt, depending on what your attack stats at. Okay. Um, might be headbutt crunch. Um, I don't and have the notes up. We're seeing uh or something. A dead ball. Yes, so that's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that un unfortunate bit of uh, rendering lag there. Uh, but then downstairs, it's going to be uh, two Thunderbolts or a Thunderbolt and a Zippy Zap, depending on your damage ranges. Uh, looks to be going for the older uh, Pika strats, where you uh, withdraw a sacrifice Pokemon for Jesse James. Mm hmm Yeah, those older strats, while slower, are definitely uh, significantly less less complicated, and less bad things can happen. Speaking yeah. of older strats, uh, Sajay is going for Boom Strats. Oh, yo! Geo. Boom Strats. So basically, boom strats is that you put Graveler at the front of your party, you double X attack, you self destruct to kill the Persian, um, uh, then you bring in Eevee to take out the right horn with Bouncy Bubble. This is. The boom strats are very weird. The boom strats were made a really long time ago, in like early 2019, and then everyone kind of forgot about it for a couple years. And then it made its return in like 2021, and then uh, later on, after we started doing the Sigley side strats on Eevee, kind of went away again. 
And there goes the Persian. <laughs> there goes everyone ancient, on the field. Yeah, there goes everyone. <laughs> An ancient relic of a bygone era. The power to destroy all. <laughs> Uh, now Ergo is back in um, tower, um, hoping to get a Ghastly, um, but he's still in a decent catch situation if uh, one doesn't show up. Nice spinner dodge down there. Yeah, that, uh, that scared me a little bit, <laughs> I'll be honest. My heart rate went up, just a, just a smidge there. Oh, yeah. I, was check like I, was, I just looked at the catch tracker, so I didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, G Ghastly E here is really nice, not just as a catch, but as a Pokemon to use for uh, the only wild Pokemon fight we do. Uh, we're going to have to, after this section, we're going to um, run away from a Snorlax, uh, and um, Ghastly has a higher speed than Eevee. I don't know about how it compares to the partner Pikachu. Oh, you um, swap it out. Okay, you swap it either way. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so just having that Ghastly in your slot one is nice because it just makes that runaway much more consistent. Yeah. As also long as you have it. something in the slot that's faster than the Snorlax, then it's fine. Just Ghastly is usually the most convenient thing there. Mm -hmm. It gives you an excuse to deposit your partner either way because they can't evolve. And we're not going to be using our partner for any fight for the rest of the run. Um, SyJ did pick up the Hideout Ultras. Um, which is a nice little bit of safety. Speaking of safety, Ergo just picked up a Hyper Potion that I didn't know existed. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a very nice Hyper Potion to pick up in races. Um, it's going to be uh, our favorite... Bad Archer coming up in like, <laughs> like half an hour. And having that hyper potion for Bad Archer is actually, in some situations, can be really crucial. So yeah. I, I definitely, I definitely really like picking up that, uh, the hyper potion there. I've had enough runs where I'm just like, oh god, I'm out of supers on Bad Archer. Mm hmm, yeah, that can happen. And there's some situations, depending on what's on the field, where you just super and then you get hit back down to the exact same HP you were at before, and you just go into that loop until you, your partner does something. Yeah. Well, Fortress Pika is very low and oh. poisoned. And poisoned, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. uh can just keep healing that with the partner. Yeah, this is how the old uh, Pika strats go sometimes. Oh, opted to oh. Double, oh, double healed and then just got yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it probably would have been a little better to just heal there and then take out the Arbok. But uh, it happens. Yeah. When you're that low, it's really tricky to decide what the right call is in the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a nice uh, Ghastly bond, uh, but unfortunately the Ghastly was right in the trainer's vision, and he opted not to go for it. Uh, mm -hmm. I have yeah, learned. I respect that, that. Yeah, I have learned the hard way that you should not be chasing Ghastly through trainer vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the two required uh, Haunter trainers only have a Haunter. I think there's like one or two trainers here who have like four Ghastlies or something like that. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> like even even though they're you know easy to take out that's still you know four extra turns of combat that you have to sit through it's obnoxious mm -hmm. side so also has 54 planned right now so like missing that gas is not going to be a huge deal for him right yeah like all of our runners are in really good spots with their catch counts yeah and I've did everyone keep the fossil? Because currently no one has their fossils planned, so uh, if they did keep it, they all do have that as a backup still, uh, if something disastrous does happen. 
interesting. I was just uh, looking at the uh, catch trackers, and all of them have the same number of Pokemon planned outside of Saijay, who still has Tentacool and Tentacruel uh, highlighted. The other two runners do not have the jellyfish uh, marked as planned. Uh, yeah, it, oh yeah, you're right. Take away the tentacle and the tentacle. It's the exact same number. Uh, Fortunate planned. does have Golduck planned, though. Mm. Oh, yeah. Fortunate, they got the early Psyduck, I believe, yeah, right? Correct. Yeah, yes. so it would. I don't think it would be wise for them to get the Golduck. Yeah, and Golduck doesn't Gold naturally spawn, so you'd have to catch another Psyduck, which I don't really want to be catching duplicates. And yeah. Psyduck did end up getting another Ghastly, so letting that other one go was perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Ergote is now out of tower, uh, so doing a good number of deposits here, and then can fly over to the next section. Uh, he's going to be looking for a few other catches to get. Um, it looks like he's going for Pony, Doduo, and Duck. Yeah. He's hoping to find here. Yeah, if you hadn't caught Pidgey earlier, catching a Pidgey here can be great because you could evolve it into Pidgeotto and then immediately evolve it into Pidgeot as well. Um, I believe you could also see rats on this route. Mm -hmm, so yeah. if you yeah. don't, don't have your rat attack yet. <laughs> as fortunate is cleaning up Archer 1, the neutral Archer. Um, <laughs> how, is, how does Geo... Actually, don't you go to, like, plus six on... Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. So, you, you set up to plus six for the Zippy Zap on the Persian, and then you do Double Kick Helping Hand on the Rhyhorn. It is, like, you are boosting that Pikachu's attack as high as you can without a Z-Crystal. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes if you have, like, lower-end attack, that, like barely kills. Oh, Psy just got Power of Love. I think he would have died to the poison if it hadn't expelled. Oh, yeah. Lucky then. I love the little close-up it does on the Pokemon's face. Yeah, so what are the main reasons for... Uh, depositing our partner Pokemon, we saw right down there on Saijay's side of the screen where the Eevee turned around and said, Hey, look at a good, what a good job I did! Yeah. Um, their favorite uh, mechanic called, uh, friendship. Here, <laughs> uh, uh, the Pokemon Let's Go tournament, we hate friendship. Friendship is so bad. Uh, basically, if your Pokemon gets up of, um, like, 150-something friendship, uh, it will start doing this thing called turnarounds, which means that every time you see a super effective move in battle or get healed in battle, uh, the Pokemon will kind of turn around for a couple seconds, look on you, and be like, aren't I doing such a great job? And we say, yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah, what I would have really preferred not two seconds of time lost for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, and by the time you get to uh, what is more commonly known as the cycling road, uh, your partner Pokemon has enough friendship because you've been relying the, on them a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, so now's about the time, you know, we really want to execute a main swap. And Ergo is having a pretty good 17 so far. Um, early Pony and Duck. So, uh, going to Candy the Pony, uh, to make it is new ride Pokemon, uh, and then just needs to find a Doduo as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I am wondering if, if uh, Ergo's gonna force Doduo here. Doduo is very good uh, for uh, some safety strats later on, but you technically don't need Doduo. 
So we'll see if, if Ergo decides to wait at the bottom for Joe Duo or if he'll just go if he doesn't see it. Yeah, I personally think in a no reset run that you should be waiting for Doe Duo, but uh, I'm not sure if everyone would agree with that. I think I would as well, probably. Yeah. If you have an extra repel, I would definitely uh, just try to use it to cycle through the Pokemon. But <laughs> don't think Ergo has used a repel. I know Fortunate has. Mm hmm. This is some nice Pokemon that spawned on that route for Psy. Right. I saw the Dodrio, I think. What else is yeah, there? Yeah, Dodrio and Pidgeotto. Uh, oh. Yeah. What is Psy looking for here? Psy does not have a Pidgey yet. So, Pidgey or Pidgeotto option there. Uh, also, hoping to get Pony, Duck, Dodrio. Sai is pretty much looking for the full gauntlet on 17. Yeah. Um, if Sai gets everything on everything that he wants on 17, then he pretty much only needs Staryu yep. after. And it looks like Ergote was waiting at the bottom here for Dojuo. And okay, that was pretty quick. There it is. That was not bad at all. Mm. Yeah, it took a second to uh, pause and go back up to get the silver raspberries, which are just like raspberries, only better. Yeah, especially for these uh, water encounters coming up where you're only able to use one controller and the water for god knows what reason. Uh, <laughs> having those silver rags can be very helpful. Well, no, it's because um, you have to do kind of cool. It's but because I... your partner Pokemon is the one that's doing it, and so you don't have anyone to help the second controller stay in the water. Oh, yeah, they, they never teach the humans how to surf. Yeah. The 2C doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> I think it'd be funny if the 2C were just like kind of hanging on the edge of like the surfboard. Yeah. <laughs> or it gets like one of the pontoons that spawn in the more recent Pokemon games. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> uh, Fortune is working their way up the tower. Um, no sign of a Ghastly yet, but still has a little bit before her. Or a little bit of opportunities for this spawn. We got a nice pony here for Sai oh, There we go, there's the Ghastly. Yeah, so 3 for 3 on Ghastlies is always really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three for three, Ghastly and Abra on this race. Can't argue with that. Having a little bit of a motion control moment there for Fortunate. Sometimes yeah. with these side throws, uh, motion controls can be a little funky. And yeah, so with that really nice 17, Ergo only needs Staryu uh, for a catch. Which... He's really nice. Yeah. Um, like, typically you, you're you happy if you just need Staryu and then either the jellyfish or uh, the poison type that spawns in your respective game in the mansion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, with not needing anything in mansion, um, and if he still has his repel left, which I believe he does, he could repel mansion and just make the first half easier to get through. Gaia evolving that pony tie to get the the fast rapidash ride. Uh, still, maybe looking for Do Duo here. Maybe getting that Pidgey as well for Sajay. Yeah. So the reason we evolved the rapidash here in particular over just continuing to ride on the Rhyhorn is because ride Pokemon move at different speeds. 
and Rabidash, I believe, is tied with Aerodactyl for being one of the fastest ride Pokemon for just overworld movement. Yes. I think Aerodactyl is slightly faster, but not enough that it actually matters. Yeah, like if you, if you, I think Rapidash and Aerodactyl are like supposed to be kind of the same tier of speed, but uh, they do move. That's a Chansey on Aerodactyl. Wild. <laughs> Sai opting to go for the Pidgeotto catch instead of waiting for a Pidgey, um, which is perfectly that. fine because yeah. um, he didn't actually need the Pidgeot, so it makes sense to just grab the Pidgeotto instead. Mm -hmm. Um, I cannot tell what that CP is. Oh, I did not look. I think it's 10-10. I think I saw that on the Twitch stream. Ooh, that would be really bad if it was 10-10. Yeah. What's the range of CPs for Staryu again? It's about 960 to 1160, like around there. Mm -hmm. So about like 10, about 1060 is uh, 10, the 70. average. Okay. Yeah. 1070, okay. And that what is better. this number anyway? I, I've i never seen that in my mainline Pokemon games. <laughs> okay, so it, it, it's supposed to be like a, a Pokemon Go thing. So CP stands for combat points. Uh, so basically there's like this weird formula. I don't know what the formula is, but it kind of, it takes what the Pokemon stats are, like the it's six individual stats, and then puts them into a formula that outputs one number. That it's just combat, uh, combat power. Yeah. It, it, it's like the IVs plus the level, I think, in this. Yeah, I'd believe that. I'd believe then, anything. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure AVs also come into play. Yeah, they yeah. definitely do. Not that it matters for wild encounters, but they yeah. are included in the formula. Okay. The, the important thing is, it's weird and complex, but on average, uh, the higher your IVs, the higher CP displayed. Okay, so Ergotase star you it seems like good speed but lower end special attack based on mm -hmm. what i saw from the star you level ups yeah we'll get a, a chance to confirm exactly where it is after the evo when we go to teach scald mm -hmm. Ooh, one thing i noticed is that Psy J does not have doduo oh so we're may maybe be seeing some rapid ash strats later on One thirteen, one twenty. I think is what I saw. For special yeah, attack one, and speed. One thirteen special attack is very much on the low end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, luckily, that speed means that uh, Ergote will be outspeeding everything on Blaine, which uh, mm -hmm. at lower end speed, some some of the Pokemon there can be a problem. Yeah. Um, and so that low special attack. Typically doesn't really come back to bite until we start getting into uh, the Elite Four. Though there are some strats earlier on that can be used if you have high enough special attack. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate, they've just finished up Tower, um, so they will also be heading over to 17 shortly uh, for their own catching section, where it looks like they are just looking for Pony and Doduo. J Star U 10.52. So, fairly average on the CP there. Oh yeah, that was an awkward spot for that Star U to land. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. The EXP, like, does not matter here at all, so uh, as long as it gets in, it's pretty much the same speed. Yeah, everything that you are uh, looking to evolve at this point is going to get enough passive XP, uh, where what you get out of catches doesn't really matter. Ergo remembering to get the Firestone. Mm-hmm. I didn't see how the Ted fight went, but I assume it went well. Yeah, I assume 
fine. I didn't, I didn't see anything disastrous there. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah like 98% of the time, a Ted fight is fine, and then 2% of the time, you like get crit or paralyzed, and then it's a sad time. So AJ does not get tentacle, so he'll be going for coughing in here. Yep, gets one to spawn immediately, and that should be the last cat for AJ. Yep. Okay, picking up the map's elixir in Mansion. Uh, that is kind of a, a difference between the standard Pikachu route and the standard Eevee route. Um, we didn't really talk about it before, but the number of items you have in your, your bag is actually fairly important. Because uh, basically, when you use items in battle, your cursor doesn't like save where it is in between turns. So you want to set up your bag in a way where it's very easy to get to your uh, X special attacks and X attacks. And because of the items you want to pick up and the items you get on Pikachu version, you typically pick up an Ether uh, right before Bill's house on Route 25. Uh, while on Eevee version, you don't want to pick up that Ether, and therefore you need to pick up this Max Elixir PP item in Mansion instead. Also, fortunate going for Rapidash here. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, it looked like the horse just ran directly into them, so... Yeah. Broke out even with a pretty good throw there. Let's see how the next one works. Okay, on side day screen, uh, Staryu, I saw a pretty similar Staryu to Ergo's. A little tiny bit higher special attack, a little tiny bit lower speed, but fairly similar. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Fortunate has finally caught the Rabidash. There we go. Yeah, that's a 115 special attack on Starmie. Um, and I missed the speed for Psy-J. Based on the uh, level 46 stats I saw, I would guess around 117 or 118, but I didn't actually, I wasn't actually looking myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which still is good speeds for Blaine. Mm -hmm. Ergo gets yeah. burned from uh, Magmar's flamethrower, uh, which is not great, but because Ergo has good speed, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah. Did skip uh, Confuser Ray, though, at least. Oh, did he? I missed that. That's I think yeah. that was turn one with the that flamethrower. Mm-hmm. So, save to turn, but got burned. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yep. Yeah, but luckily you're fast enough that unless you see, like, Ninetales quick attack, uh, you're probably not going hit, to be hit by anything. And uh, Fortunate gets to save a rare candy um, by just catching the Rapidash. Although Pika doesn't generally rare candy Rapidash, I suppose. Yeah, the current strats for Pika are if you get your Rapidash early enough so that it evolves by the end of uh, Blaine's Gym, you save the rare candy um, because you're already riding Arcanine over Rhyhorn anyway. Sure.
Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, how long Fortunate is going to wait here and what they wait for. I think Dodu is really the only thing they can they have left. Uh, unless they want to get a pony as well, but I th think they don't need it. Uh, look at yeah, the tracker. I don't think they need it either, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah, this might be... Yeah, they just unclicked the pony from their tracker. Um, and I guess my guess is they're going to catch the Grimer and the Staryu and then choose not to evolve the Arcanine. Yep. Yeah, that would be my guess too, based on what I'm seeing here. Uh, so now Ergote is in the middle of the month and Saji is just starting the gym rush. Um, mm -hmm. So Blaine, and then Surge, and then Erica, all in rapid succession. Yeah, Blaine, which we all know is the third gym leader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all know that Surge and Erica are more powerful than Blaine. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you should do the master. I mean, Surge was in the military, and Erica is sleepy. Yeah, I mean... Erica is extremely sleepy. <laughs> Who and would like... win? Uh, someone who's been trained in the military with electric Pokemon and is like seven feet tall or uh, one sleepy girl. And the answer is the sleepy girl every time. Like, Of course, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Have you seen her new card in the TCG? It's wild. I have not. I have not. It's a... Uh, if I'm thinking of the correct card, it's a uh, boss's orders, but you play a card from their... a basic Pokemon from their hand. Amazing. Also, we didn't call it out earlier, but I just love Blaine's little Blaine dolls. Oh yeah, they're excellent. Oh, yes. So cute. <laughs> Me and Spider with the same thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only one valid thought to be had in Blaine's doom. True. Uh, that oh, thought is, size, please don't burn me. Eggmore did get confused, right? Yep, this is the standard fight. No oh. burn, which is nice. Uh, I am curious to see if Psyj will uh, speed tie or outspeed the Rapidash. Mm -hmm. I think uh, his stats were kind of on the edge there. We're all waiting with bated breath, but... Okay. At the very least, won the speed tie. Yeah, at least. And you know, that kind of like, after this, your, your speed really doesn't... After Blaine, your speed pretty much doesn't matter unless you have, like, either perfect speed or the worst possible speed. <laughs> Everything yeah. in between just, like, doesn't matter after Blaine. Fortunate started swimming and immediately hit a star you, so you'd love to see that. 1047, so fairly average. Yeah, none of our runners having any really exciting stars today, but, you know. Well, you never know what fortune is. You just need one. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Yeah, th those, those IVs could be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, Ergote almost done with the quick gym rush. Before That's we take a break. Plume. Unfortunate screen. Amazing. Incredible. Oh, these starry, starry stats are uh, looking fairly decent here. 89.91 at starry 45. You can get a, a better sense of them once the level up across the, the evolution occurs. <laughs> oh, with that extra candy, uh, Fortunate opt to use four candies here, which uh, as long as you catch something else after uh, evolving to Starmie is fine. You just if you don't catch anything else and 
if you use four candies, then you're gonna be a, a little bit short after Sabrina. Mm -hmm. Speaking of catches, that vile plume is like the first thing to catch. <laughs> I would <laughs> know. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> You know, I'm waiting for the day when someone finally routes out uh, buying the magic carpet and instead catching it here to get geared us. Like, it's so, never going to happen, but... So, you know, I mean, the, the problem is buying the magic carpet is so fast that, like, you're basically, you're losing time if you catch magic carp. Yeah. And plus, party space can be a problem, so it's like it's a whole thing. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. On I the just other think hand, it would be a great beam. Yeah. On the other hand, you have a Gyarados if you do it. So you know, who's to say if it's bad or not? <laughs> just buy waterfall and we have a new name. <laughs> <laughs> bad. No waterfall. Yeah, to get Waterfall, you have to climb up the Celadon department store and pay 30,000 Poké Dollars. You could get three natures for that, so... Not worth it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fortune is just looking for Grimer for their last catch, and then uh, we're going to be all done with catches for the run. Yeah, Aragote and Saijay finishing up Erica and Surge respectively. Uh, Aragote doing my favorite bit of tech in Let's Go, which is you fly to Celadon City because it's faster than running out of Celadon City. Yep, flying to the same city you're already in is quite good. <laughs> but Aragote going to take a break in the middle of this five gym rush to, I don't know, handle some kind of office building. I think they need coffee or something. Well, he did just supply tea, so. Can I get a hot chocolate? <laughs> How many marshmallows? Oh, no marshmallows, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, not a, I'm not a marshmallow enjoyer or a coffee enjoyer. That is fair. Yeah, I personally am also a tea drinker, so... Tea's nice. I like, I, I like I green tea. Water. That's really what I should be doing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let me hydrate right now. Stay hydrated, everybody. I, of course, having said that, I forgot to fill up my water bottle before we started, so I'm... <laughs> oh no! ...hydrating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, Ergote is starting up the blue fight, and from the tracker, his Doduo has not evolved. So it looks like he will be going for Fire Blast strats, I assume. Well, you can go for the range on, on Doduo. Okay, it is a range? Like, yeah, it's usually pretty good, but okay. because you're you're modest, if you... Oh, he is just going for Rapidus, yep, okay. It is just Fire Blast, okay. Alright, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Or just... We just started blasting, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Nailed Fire it, blast. Nice. All right, we hit it. Yeah. So that's one fire blast down, and we're gonna see another one because Saijay will also be doing the same thing. Yeah, between the fire blasts and the hydro pumps, this run still has its fair share of. Oh God, I hope this move hits. Oh, At oh, least yeah. we're not using Mega Kick. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, imagine running about a game. Mega with, this. I'm like running a game where like getting past the starter is like 10%, and then you have to hit a bunch of Mega Kicks. Wouldn't that just be like the most fun speed game ever? Yeah, I'm sure it'd like, be a great tournament run. Oh, it would be. It'd be beautiful. Yeah, why? Why wouldn't I want to play a game where my starter has random IVs? True. I love randomness. 
Oh, there's the Dodorio. Excellent timing. <laughs> right, right, not right on time. <laughs> uh, fortunately, going for another rare candy. Yeah, I think fortunately it's gonna be uh, loading up on those candies, uh, taking it safe. Yeah, which can't argue with really. Oh yeah, I, no, I agree with that to be honest. And Ergo is going into Bad Archer. Oh boy, here it goes! We had, so, uh, the previous race had a very interesting Bad Archer. Yeah. Oh my, so, yeah. Why is Bad Archer so bad? Well, you see, a, a lot of reasons. Let's start with the first one. <laughs> you only control one of the Pokemon on this field. The Cubone that you see being controlled by an AI. We all love Pokemon AI. Um, second, every turn just takes like forever for the game to just like, I don't know, sit there and think about what you're doing or something. Think about That's what a really done. good first turn. Uh, the, the most of this Electrode and the Muck can be, do very annoying things. So, uh, the best thing you can get is Electrode just booms itself and then you, you take out the Muck. Uh, so, turn. Very clean yeah. support. if we get some Cubone cooperation, we could maybe see a three turn here. Yeah, of course. The way that that fight goes badly is if the Electrode decides to Thunderbolt the Starmie, um, repeatedly. that does repeatedly. a lot. Pepper Punch on Cubone, that's atypical. You typically see on the Starmie, it'll do more yeah. damage. Boner, like oh! Whoa. Yeah. All right, all right. Pause. Pause. Pause emoji. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. All right. Cubone. Come on, Cubone. 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 Oh. Yeah. oh. Ooh. Yes! Three wow. turn archer, the best possible fight you can get. Oh. The rich get richer. There we go. Rich through very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you unironically love to see it no matter what. And we're just in time to see Sai hit a fire blast. And unfortunate side, uh, in the blame fight, should be fairly straightforward, especially with uh, the extra level. Great. 85% fire blast for side J. Easy. Nailed it. Nice. Love to see it. Easy every time. And soon Saturday's gonna be coming up to that uh the bad archer fight, so excited to see uh what happens there. And Fortune has just said that they are five minutes ahead of PB. Ooh. Yo, let's go! Let's Love go, to see another that. PB? Another PB in this tournament? Tournament PBs are always amazing. I love yeah. them so much. Because at the very least, the verification's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, last race, Sheep would have had a PB um, if you didn't have to use the backup starter. Mm -hmm. So people have been putting up some really good time so far. And we're only yeah. three races in. Not sure if we'll, we'll uh, ever see another 3 PB race <laughs> in this tournament, but... Very good that we, we got at least one on pace here right now. Yeah. Alright, let's see All how right. that race goes. This, like, load between 
selecting your move on turn one and the game actually like registering it is the scariest thing. Oh. Right. Yeah. So there's thunderbolt. the thunderbolt we were talking about. Now, if we get boom turn two, this actually usually turns out pretty good because the boom hits the eradicate. But if you keep getting thunderbolt, it's really bad. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, Electrode will go for it because Cubone threatened it. Yep, there we go. Right. Yep. And, and I'm going to down to like half, half, half. And there yeah, goes Rat. Eradicate, yep. Oh. You love to see that. Now you don't have to worry about Sucker Punch from the Eradicate either. Yeah, so this is going to be a one turn slower fight. Um, but it's actually not nearly as bad as a full turn down because. Um, the rat just isn't on the field, so that's less things that um, happen each turn. Mm -hmm. Which also yeah. means less lag between turns while the Switch's little old rabbits run around in their cage to generate the AIs. <laughs> that's how this works, right? I think yeah, so, exactly. yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I think one of the rabbits, like, not long ago, like, got out of my Switch, so I gotta find it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if any of my mine escaped, the cats would take care of it. <laughs> is that what bad switch entropy is? The rabbits just getting away? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific lost a lot of rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> we need to buy some new rabbits for Trim. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the rest of the self hideout is actually fairly straightforward. You've got another Jesse James fight, which is trivial with Starmie spamming Psychic. Um, and then you have a Giovanni fight, which is one turn of setup, plus then Scald spam. Yep, so Ergo right now, uh, finished up with Shelfco, getting those last two gift Pokemon, Lapras and Porygon, and then she will have all 50. Psy-J heading into the later part of Shelfco, doing those uh, easier Jesse Dange and Giovanni fights that Leggy was just talking about. And Fortunate has just finished up with Surge. So they will be heading to Erica shortly and then uh, on to Shelf Go for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give it up for all three of the runners today who have been putting on a fantastic show for us today. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. These have been some really good runs. Fortunate dipping into the game counter and back out. Yep, so I'll act until look yeah. at a stick, I think. Okay. Yeah, the problem is when you have a horse as big as Rabidash, it's really easy to accidentally hit a, a spare loading zone, especially on that turn. Mm hmm for sure. I, I wasn't sure if there was an item in there that uh, they wanted to go back for, but yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Just, uh, joy con moment. And now Ergo will be shopping for the rest of the game here. Find some Hyper Potion, some more X items, uh, some repels. And let's see some. Not sure if uh, he bought full heals or if he already has enough status healing items to just get I... through to the end. He bought full heals as his first purchase. Oh, okay. Yeah, so sometimes uh, if you didn't use a lot of status healing items in the mid game, you can just simply skip buying full heals and just take what you have to the end. But uh, if, if not, then you can pick up full heals, or if you're not sure where your status healing items are at, you just mm -hmm. might as well just buy the full heals quickly. Yeah. Because, like, on the one hand, you know, you do pick up a total assortment of antidotes and paralyze heals and burn heals along the way, but, you know, to deal with things like confusion or freeze, well, not confusion for the full heals, Yeah, luckily with Freeze, because we have the move Scald, we can just uh, defrost ourselves immediately by just using Scald. Right, I forget something, that does that. Something that uh, 
I'm pretty sure every Redditor at some point just, like, forgets that exists. I've definitely just, like, forgotten what I've screwed Frozen once. Well, now that you mention it, it's actually an Etchies, uh... Yes, it does. It's, it's like notes. very large text. <laughs> <laughs> just scald if you get frozen. Um, and also, welcome in Raiders from Etiquette. Uh, this is the third race of the Let's Go Pikachu EV tournament in the first round. Um, we are in the middle of the last third of the game, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're... Accurate to the clock, I suppose. Um, and as our runners finish up the required mandatory objectives and, uh going to be making their way through the last gyms to the Elite Four eventually. Um, everyone has gotten all their catches, so at this point we're all just in uh, more or less go mode. Yeah. I think Fortunate still has a couple of evolutions left, but uh, other than that, I think we're all ready and on our way to the end. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Sabrina is also one of the fights of all time, because Mr. Mime knows Light Screen, and as we were talking about earlier, what Light Screen does is it makes all special attacks coming from the enemy do half damage. In this case, the enemy is you. Now you um. are the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Ergo got the standard fight, though, so turn one Light Screen, uh, and then it's expired the turn that Mr. Mime was knocked out, so it's no, no longer a factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Okay, typically, uh, you get light screen turn one there. Uh, if you get unlike lucky, you get light screen turn two, and you kind of have to, to stall a turn for the light screen to wear out. And if you get very, 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 very lucky, uh, you can just not see light screen at all, and then you save like a couple turns. But I've, I've maybe seen it, like, one person get it ever. It's extremely unlikely. Yeah. Uh, so Sai is picking up Porygon, and then he's also at his 50. It's, yep, no more Evos necessary. Um, Fortune is going into the blue fight. Um, but unlike... Oh! According to the tracker, their Dodu is also not evolved, so we might be seeing a third fire blast. I'm... Let's go three for three! Please keep Dodu a fortunate. I have yet to miss, like, going for Dodu on Blue. I have yet to not get the range, even though I know it's possible to miss. <laughs> I just assumed that it wasn't a range, and, like, that you couldn't one shot with Dodu. And so I just assumed. Uh, I, I should check that out because now I want to know how risky it is, and that would be much better than uh, going for fire blast in some cases. I assume. Uh, do you think Saiji's going to need all fifty out of those full heals? Oh yeah, probably. Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, we do have Dodu on the screen, so. Yo, let's go. Hopefully, the range does go through. Ooh, Power Whip into Starmie. That is quite unlucky. So what about that <laughs> range being really good? <laughs> I've, I've never missed it, and therefore it's 100%. I'm just saying. I, uh, I honestly would be really interested in like, what the calculations are, like, where that becomes a range versus oh. where it... All right. I, I want to say you it's, like, guaranteed if you have, like, 15 IV or somewhere around there. Like, mm, okay. It is checkable. Once I open, like, three other tabs to get trainer <laughs> data and damage calc. Yeah. I do love the the uh, amount of resources that we have in the Let's Go community, though, for doing this kind of stuff. Uh, what 
fight with the blue fight. Sexy mm -hmm. boy. Anyways, uh, looks like Ergo did not take any damage on Caden's muck, which is good. Okay, yeah, go, on, hey. oh, go ahead. Uh, muck was... did a turn one minimize, yeah, that's which is unfortunate. Okay, but well, we... Through, it fine. Um, but yeah, uh, Kogusjin also can be annoying because, you know, he's the sneaky poison, I'm going to stall you out and let Toxic drain your health, gym leader. So, every single Pokémon in this gym that we fight knows Protect. Um, and every single time one of the Pokémon in this gym presses Protect, that's just a wasted turn, effectively. Unless mm. we're we were already using it to heal or set up. Yeah, not only a wasted turn, but wasted power point too. So sometimes if you get yeah. a lot of protect, sometimes you have to conserve your your uh, psychic CP to make it through to uh, the heal that you get in Victory Road. And as Aragote enters Koga, so I got the standard uh, Sabrina as well. Nice. Toxic turn one. Unfortunate, but you kind of expect that. Yeah. And then protect two is fine. Yeah, so that's one turn wasted on Koga. Effectively. Uh, so we're two turns wasted in Koga's gym. We got the basically second turn protect on Kaden. And another protect. Oh, as Fortunate enters Bad Archer. Protect self-destruct. Oh, excellent. Uh, we got to go protect from uh, the Koga fight. So that's four uh, protects... Muck did not, so... Honestly, yeah. that's a fairly average Koka gym. Yeah, I feel like... 2 to 5 is, like... And maybe 2 to 4 is, like, typical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say my average is, like, 4. Yeah. By the way, an update on that Doduo range, it is way worse than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'll, I'll just keep fire blasting then in this yeah. situation. Yeah, it's guaranteed at 30 IV. Okay, that's okay. Not reassuring. Yeah. If you go, yeah, um, it's uh, at zero IV. It's one out of sixteen. Okay, yeah. so it's always technically possible. Always possible. I don't know how we <laughs> never miss that. How is it possible? Did I do this cow crong? <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, you might just be the greatest gamer who ever lived. I, you know what? Dead, I'd like to take that title. Uh, so we were seeing. Oh, Pidgeot came out. Pidgeot. I was going to say oh, we were going to see Raichu for the second time today, but no, it's Pidgeot. What happened over. Well, you know what? Star Make Alive, and you, that's all you can ask for. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think Fortunate might have targeted the rat first. Which, oh, okay. I understand the impulse because those sucker punches can be really annoying to deal with. Mm hmm Yeah, the problem is everything on this fight is annoying if you keep it alive, so... <laughs> oh, if only we had a good spread move for Starmie. Surf, it's only 45 second detour. <laughs> it's bad, I'm kidding, don't look at it. Oh, minimize the side day two. Please hit, and hit. Nice. Easy. Nice, nice. That's zero wasted turn so far. 
I spoke too soon. Yeah, there's yeah. one. <laughs> that Beedro protects like 99% of the time. Mm -hmm. If that Beedro doesn't protect, it's like, like a pop-off moment, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Fortunate uh, going into the final Jesse James fight. After a quick cutscene, we have Ergo doing the final cutscene before heading into the Viridian Gym, and we have Saij entering Koga. I'm curious to see how many uh, protects we see on Saij's end here. Or, and if we see any maybe toxic or explosion here, question mark? I've never seen Explosion. I would love to see one of those someday. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> rare, but you bit, you just save the turn of having to KO the weakening so it's very nice. Can't argue with Protect turn 1, though. Oh yeah, for sure. It's better than Toxic and then having to heal the Toxic after. Mm -hmm. If you have good special attack here, you can stall the Weezing and the Venom Moss here, but it looks like Side Day's special attack is not good enough based on the fact that he's going for those psychics. Ergo did the exact same thing, I think. Or yeah, maybe and... Ergo stalled with the Venom now. I know Ergo and Sai have pretty similar Starmies, so okay. I would assume whatever yeah. one dice the other will do. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this doesn't make Lance too interesting at the end. That was a very quick Koga fight. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Protectless, or did I just miss one? I think it might have been Protectless. Wow. Very good gem uh, for Side Day if it was yeah. Protectless. Yeah, a single it. Protect out of Koga's gem, you love to see it. Mm hmm. Especially with no poison. On the Nitto King, which is. Um, oh, yeah. Perfectly I, fine. I <laughs> agree with that completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The standard strategy is to Hydro Pump, and uh, if you miss, uh, haha. So, yeah, uh, two seeing there is very good. Yeah, and Ergote is now the stage of the game that I like to lovingly call Just Don't Get Crit, Forehead. Well, I am I am curious to see. So, on this, in your standard PB attempts, it really is just don't get crit forehead. However, I, I'm curious to see how many safety strats Egote is gonna do. Like, will, will we be seeing two CD body here? Mm -hmm. We will. All right. So, uh, the idea of two CD Giovanni is that uh, you send out Starmie and Rapidash. You X special and Scald turn one. Doug Trio uses Earthquake to. Never KO the Starmie, and almost always KO the Rapidash, and then you just spam stalled after. Uh, the one bad thing that can happen is that uh, Starmie can hang on with 1 HP through a friendship mechanic, and if that happens, you lose like 20 seconds. <laughs> if you don't get that though, this only loses like 4 seconds to the standard threat. Is that including reviving the Rapidash afterwards? That is including reviving the Rapidash and yes. including the time that you uh, don't need to buy the X Defend. Okay, sure. Yeah, I can like that within the fight itself, down. it's like the exact same time. I've been told 20 seconds, T Pat. I have not. Timed it out myself though. Wild. Uh, Fortunate has finished up uh, their Giovanni fight and is now exiting. Well, needs to pick up uh, the last two pokes and then uh, we'll head over to Sabrina. One thing I am noticing on Fortnite's tracker is they don't have Kingler marked right now. I was not fully paying attention just to see if that was uh, I believe a mistaken it's marking. Your party. I think they had they had to pick it up late, but I, okay. I think it's still safe to evolve. Um, and if not, 
they did pick up the extra rare candy. Yeah. Yeah, Fortune not only has the extra rare candy, but also got to keep another one. I just not having mm -hmm. to candy pony touch. So if if uh we don't have King Larry. No. Oh, see. there's Grabby. Grabby level twenty. I think it's twenty six. Yeah. This. Twenty five, I think. I'm curious to see what Fortunate will do here. You do also have the option of getting the uh, extra Moonstone. If Fortunate doesn't want to uh, use candy on that Krabby. I imagine the Krabby will get one level and then the other one might just get candy. Yeah, that's what I would imagine too. Ergote reviving that Rapidash if you need it alive for this next fight here. Uh, rival I, have tr I tried to do Rival 5... Uh, 1C once. Once. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably a reason it was once. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, you really, really want to be taking out this Patriot right away because it has Sand Attack. Sand Attack is uh, bad. If you're one seeing this fight, you either just have to pray that you don't get Sand Attack, or you have to, like, set up a guard spec. And then your X special and your X speed and the seal they all start like air slashing you. It's just easier to do the two controller fight where you just Thunderbolt, X special, take it out immediately. Really nice. You also specifically want Rapidash here. And the reason for that uh, is because uh, when you have two Pokemon out on the party, uh, the, the way that the AI sends out their Pokemon is slightly random. It kind of a bit, it bases you on the Pokemon that you have out. Uh, but of importance is that if you have Starmie and Rapidash out, then it will never send out Raichu or Jolteon uh, third, uh, second, which is really important because you need uh, the, the three turns of setup to be able to, to one shot it and not yeah. get blasted by Thunder. Yeah, uh, and if. Real quick, it looks like Fortune is opting to evolve um, Growlithe instead of Krabby. Okay. Oh, you know what? That I forgot that they they even had that option. Yep. And uh, now that I know that, I fully agree with that that pick. Yeah, it's important to note now that we're in the world where we're using X speeds that we don't have. Uh, the Gen 8 dynamic speed, this is still a Gen 7 game. So if you use the next speed, the turn you use it, uh, the game does not recalculate how fast you're going. So it's only the following turns after you use the next speed that the game considers you to have the faster movement. And as the other two finish up uh, their gyms, uh, Ergo is heading into um, the badge checks and then in Victory Road. Um, there will be four required trainers in Victory Road that will be fighting. Um, and those are the four trainers that would be skipped in the 80% category, um, but not in NMS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The problem with skipping those trainers, unlike the, the non-mount skips, the mount skips require very, very precise and particular setups, which require very particular sets of Joy-Cons. And so it just, it's very not accessible. So for a tournament, it makes a lot more sense to just do the standard NMS category. Um, but there is a fifth trainer in Victory Road that we will be skipping, um, but we'll be not be using a mount to do so. Uh, just mm -hmm. taking advantage of trainer vision like we were previously. Yeah, if you recall back to say the Vermilion trainers or the uh, Luffy Dovey couple out on Route 24, where we just slip through uh, their vision lines. To seeing Naomi is definitely the correct choice. 
especially with uh, Ergo special attack. Yeah. So yeah. If, if you if you one controller this fight, you basically have to hit a hydro pump and you have to hit a range. And so the, the odds of and if you if you miss either, you basically just die if you're doing a one controller. So uh, you really want to try to avoid that. Hits the hydro, misses the range. And might need to heal here. Yep, heals to avoid getting Sucker Punch killed. Mm -hmm. uh, which, in one of my early attempts at this game, I did not know that had Sucker Punch, and I died to that because I had that I exact know. situation, and I did not heal. It blows my mind that if that can get even high Sucker Punch, honestly. Fortunate uh, looks like it's making their, their way for as well. Uh, Sai J is starting Rival 5 here. Yeah, it's gonna look very similar to the fight we saw earlier. We hope. <laughs> yes, I, I don't think anyone has, like, bad enough speed where it is. You get the, the fun fight here. It's fun in quotation marks. Yeah, fun in quotation marks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you if you do the kind of standard number of candies, which is four, and you have like literal, if you have like very very low speed, you can get out sped or speed tie the Pidgeot. And so, even if you do the two controller strat, you can just stand attacked anyways, and then that's a, like a whole thing. Not that speaking is... from experience or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, that sounds like hard-fought wisdom. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Understandable. Ergo, hitting a Hydra Pump. putting all of the candies into Starmie. Already has 143 special attack here. Starmie will not be having ranges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is one way to solve the problem. Okay, Ergo will be finishing up this little boulder puzzle here and then be doing the Alexa skip. Oh, I think... Okay, he's getting to reset the rim. I think it was I salvageable from there, but... Yeah, I believe that's recoverable. Yeah, if you just hit it due south from there. There are some spots, though, where if you push the boulder, uh, it's just not recoverable. Like, at the yep. very end, if you push it down instead of, instead of right at the very end, it, you just have to reset it. Yeah. Got a lot of puzzles that were designed for the literal Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> they they well, made them the... better than the Fire Red Leaf Green versions. You don't have to push one of the boulders as far. True. At least in the Game Boy game, you don't have to press A every time you want to move it a tile. So, that you know. Oh, yeah. so that was a really clean skip. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> you're, not as bad as you're so you're so right, Fury. Look, that bar is in the ground. <laughs> Fortunate did not get kicked, so everyone hit their fifty. Good to see, no miscounts. Side guy heading into that Naomi fight, doing two controller as well. Fortunate heading into Caden. We'll see if they have any uh, minimized shenanigans here. The 
Anyways. Oh. oh they got, they got, it was a protect turn anyways. All right. What? Oh yeah, you really want to psychic that shot? Hopefully that can do enough. Yeah. Well, with the extra levels, it was maybe a possibility. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Oh, minimize, minimize dodge. Okay, we're having a Caden moment over here. Yeah, we're just getting the minimize cycle. Minimize Caden moment. And that toxic is ticking up. Mm-hmm. Toxic doing more and more damage every single oh, time. Psychic into protect. Oh, moon blast. Yep. Oh, and there's the faint from poison. Oh. Fortunate to see. We'll see. Let's see if Fortune decides to just try to finish it off with Rabidash. One thing to note is that uh, through through minimize stomp uh, is guaranteed. I think both guaranteed to hit and double damage. Yep. And mm -hmm. then I guess you could just fire blast drill. Yeah. Yes. Or I assume a fire blast. Maybe kills. they'll just go for the revive. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Fire blast. Yeah. I I do that as well. Fairly dies. Okay, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay, great. Honestly, yeah. not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> with, with how with how unfortunate that was, it uh it turned out okay. And luckily Fortunate used so many candies that uh that missing EXP really should not make a difference at all. Yep. Yeah. And that's only their first uh revive, so there's still plenty of uh safety baked in here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Fortunate does hit a trainer, though. Oh, no. Okay, Ergo making his way out. Saige doing the boulder fall here right before Alexis dip. Fortunate, let's see what this trainer has. Haunter, Spalding luckily, Haunter. pretty easy. That was a KO, that's fine. Honestly, I think another might... haunter. <laughs> yeah. If if things get a bit dicier than haunters, it might make sense to just go for psychics and take a center heal. To yeah, fix that's PP. what I'm thinking too. Okay. Especially because like scald PP is usually not that big of a deal, but with all these extra scalds being used here, <laughs> another <right>? haunter. <laughs> Three haunters, great, great diversity on that team there. Look at Happy Crunch is oops all hunters. Ooh, nice Another oh, good dip. One side okay, fortune has reached Koga. Yeah, that that last trainer standing there when I was running this game, I used to hit that trainer all the time. Sure. For my first, like, four or five attempts every single yeah, time. For, for me, it was the one all the way at the back where you, like, tuck around it oh, in front yeah. of them. I think I've hit that one a couple yep. times when I was learning tail. Yeah. Uh, Ergo is starting um, Lorelei and I'm given the special attack, I assume he will be going to plus six. Mm -hmm. It's also just so much safer, uh, relatively speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's three the specials. Yep. So if you only go to plus four, uh, then uh, unless you have very high special attack, you would have a range on Lapras and uh, a Hydro Pump to hit on Jinx. So just going to plus six eliminates both of those. I forgot, does getting fainted in this game lower friendship? I believe it does, but only by a little bit. It's not okay. not very much at all. Okay, I was wondering if the faints would counteract the uh, extra candies so then Fortunate would not get turnarounds on Bruno. Uh, I so Sandy is saying I... that nothing lowers friendship. 
Did it not? I I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. I thought it maybe lowered it by one, but okay. I I definitely trust I I trust Sandy. Right. Over myself here. Yeah, fortunate mentioning still three minutes ahead and also have the max elixir. So yeah, fortunate's in a a really good spot for them right now. Okay, yep, so then uh shouldn't need that center heal after all. Uh, healing before Bruno, I think, just to protect against Earthquake Crit. Yeah, you pretty much only give Bruno one turn, and because you have both Starmie and Rapidash in the party typically on, the, on a race run, uh, or Dodrio in this case, yeah, we saw the Stealth Rock there. Uh, because you got Dodrio on the party, I'm assuming we're going to be seeing TC Agatha here. Yep, I would. I think that's definitely going to be the case. Uh, keeping my eye out uh, for this Evo's stats. Uh, so that's 134 special attack here at level 52. I'm gonna uh, one more level up and a little more friendship for that uh that ever important Dragonite range. Mm -hmm. Let me pull up the notes so that I remember where that is. Yeah, luckily I I assume Ergote is just gonna be doing the safe uh elite four strat, so missing that Dragonite mm -hmm. range won't be I'm as big of a deal for the for traffic him. noises if they're going through. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. Traffic into traffic. Uh, ergo is through Bruno, so now it's time for, um, like we said, probably the 2C Agatha. Yep, there it is. There it is. So the 2C Agatha, uh, the normal Agatha strat is that you set up an next special and next speed on uh, Arbok and then you full restore to get rid of paralysis. Uh, some weird thing can happen if you don't get glared then it can be weird. If you get crunch, crit, or defense dropped it can be weird. Uh, so by doing this 2C strat where you bring in uh, Starmie and Dodrio, uh, you pretty much just uh, uh, spam Psychic and Skulls with one of your Pokemon, and then boost the back item with Dodrio. Mm -hmm. Sad guy is just starting Lorelei right now. Uh, Showing that these two are very close, actually. Mm -hmm. Fortunate making their way into uh, Giovanni's gym. Uh, going to see what uh, probably safe strats as we've seen from our other two runners here, unless they decide to try and push while on PV pace. Fortunate uh, Starmie, I believe, is both pretty good, and uh, they have a high level, so potentially they can just do Psychic on the Nido King and one-shot it, although I don't know the specific numbers. Yeah. Yep, looks like they're just going in 1C. Alright, 
Spyjay through Lorelei, Ergo through Agatha. the psychic one shot nice depending on what we see turn one from ergo we can know whether we're doing the safe strat i'm i'm assuming the safe strat here which would be uh x speed turn one or special because it actually doesn't actually matter which one you use first gonna x speed it Ooh, uh. I'm getting just a lot of pixels on the Discord stream, so <laughs> I can't, uh... Well, that's what at the moment, unfortunately. So yeah, bringing the support trainer after the siege is down. Okay, so you're gonna just attack with Starmie, boost with Dodrio, and then at the very end on the Dragonite, you'll attack with both of them. So, just in case you missed that Dragonite range, you still got something else to uh, back it up. Uh, fortunate entering Geo, uh, doing a 2C fight as well. Psy-J on pretty low HP on Bruno oh, no. right now. We could see the ever... the rare faint from Hitmonlee. Only seen a few times ever, but it is possible. Yeah, so Dragonite is currently sitting okay, we'll at fly. 14 sixteenths. Okay, that's a pretty good. That's a, about an 88% range, so pretty favorable. Yeah. But Especially with you know, on the side to uh, mm -hmm. help you out. Yeah, you know, you still want to do the 2C as uh, fight here, especially with Psy J as hot on your heels as he is. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But... Or you just hit it! Easy. Alright, uh, Saike looking like he's doing one to Agatha, so let's see how that goes. Uh, all the different ways this fight can go, depending on if you get, like, friendship healing, or paralysis or not, or if you get crit or defense drop. Looking like the standard fight here. Yep, fully standard. Uh, I guess that's for side. Easy. As Ergo enters champ. Um, so turn one, I believe, is 2x items. Um, so Drill will be taking a hit. And then one turn two will be one more x item. Hopefully, Pidgeot uh, Quick Attack kills the Dodrio. And then Starving sweeps. Yeah, I think the Dodrio should just die to an air slash to get defenses are, are worse than Rapidash. Okay, sure. Oh, it goes for Starmie. That's unusual, but fine. You can just... Yeah, you shouldn't die to quick attack, so you can just go here. Yeah, you're out of range. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it does kind of suck to have both Pokemon alive, but then you have to select moves for both things, but uh, better than nothing, so you mm -hmm. can get it. And as long as Ergo selects the right moves, that should be GG. The only thing you really have to pay attention to is making sure you use uh, Thunderbolt on that Starmie. <laughs> on that, uh, oh my gosh, Starmie. No, doesn't have a Starmie. Slowbro, that's the one. With uh, Dodru Dodrio as your second, is Slowbro guaranteed to come out last still? I am not sure about the the ordering there. I assume that 
Slowbro doesn't have much it can do against the uh, Dodrio, that would be dangerous, but... Slow... Uh, T-Pat, Slowbro cycling be for Rapidash, right? Or are you talking Dodrio? Yeah, surely Raichu would, like, always come out before Slowbro, right? Okay, or so Dodrio. we got Slowbro fifth here. Yes, okay. So, it, it does, uh... Have some priority over whatever hasn't come out yet. I have yeah, let's see. Okay. Marowak. 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 That would yeah, make yeah, sense, okay. right? You have round type. Yeah. <laughs> All right, All right, GG. Is, uh, looking to be a, about a, three, a mid 308. I say like. 308, 33. I wasn't fully paying attention to the timer, and I might be slightly off mm -hmm. on this game. Yeah, I've got the race time room up, so when the dot done comes in, we can get the exact timing. Alright. Meanwhile, let's see how Saija and Fortunate are doing. Saija on that uh, 1C land right now. Uh, curious to see what his range is. Um, yeah, let's see what we'll it looks like after. Up soon. Yeah, I, I imagine after this Gyarados goes down. One thirty-seven. So that is the same four, fourteen out of sixteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and in the race time room. Ergo Tay has officially finished with a time of 3.08.34. Alright. Pretty solid time. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Sub 3.10 is always really good, especially in these live settings. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, Ergo Tay just like recently lowered their PB a whole bunch. I think yeah. that might be better than, their, than his PB like a month ago or something. Yep, it definitely is. Because um, my two PBs ago, I was basically tied with Ergo. Um, and so... Uh, it, this is definitely a big improvement over the last uh, month for them as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Sai so adding Butterfree to the party, so also going for the easy, safe uh, 2C champ. Um, unlike Ergos, there is no chance that a uh, champ doesn't target the partner. Um, <laughs> it can go for Heat Wave, though. Which it can is, go uh... for Heat Wave, and so you could see Heat Wave burn, technically, on Starmie. That would be <laughs> fun. That would be, uh, that would never happen. <laughs> also, I appreciate uh, Saiji letting the, uh, movie play out. Just to build that hype. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was looking at uh, Fortunate doing this Naomi right now. Almost looks like they're never gonna do one key Naomi, but pulls out the second controller, which, uh, mm -hmm. I think is what they should be doing. It's going for salt here, which is something. Maybe they okay, thought that. Butterfree. Good. Yeah. Okay. We got the standard fight over on Saturday screen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No crit. Crit here, but can be weird. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And barring any misclicks, that should be a GG for Saturday. Yep. GG to Saturday. GG to Saturday. And given that it is Starmie by itself, I don't really think there is the opportunity for misclicks anyway, because you run out of uh, PP by the time Slowbro comes out. Yeah, I mean, there's all like an opportunity to attack play, but okay. it, it, <laughs> some, I, I would say it is unlikely from here. 
You never know what a Joy-Con is gonna do, I suppose. Yeah, Joy-Con just do whatever they feel like sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like, based on the timer right now, it looks like Side J's probably gonna finish off with a 313, in the 313 range. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, hopefully is good enough to stay in that upper bracket. So, uh, after this first round, there's gonna be an upper bracket and a lower bracket. So, in the upper, gra upper bracket will be the 13 race winners. So, Ergo is guaranteed to stay in that upper bracket. And then, uh, of the rest of the runners, the top five times will also stay in the upper bracket. I think for, for a second place time, a 313 here is quite solid. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Indeed. I think this is going to be closed time, so then this is currently the best second place time. Mm -hmm. uh, well, also, got somewhere around here as well, right? Like a 313-ish? 31346. Uh, yeah, this should just barely be close time. Mm -hmm. Um, and Ergote and uh, Sai, feel free to join for uh, join on comms if you want to. Yeah. Boy, do we have plenty of things to talk about. <laughs> yes, oh. yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, Sai. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so... Hello, Ergo. GG's, GG's Ergo, man. This is a good, good run. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah were, we're, we were pretty neck and neck for a while. Yeah. I mean, I was way ahead on catches, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Those early catches were... I had, like, what, 29... Entering tunnel or something? Yeah, I was saying that that's like the highest I've ever seen somebody enter tunnel at. Yeah. yeah. So I think someone that's in chat wild. said you were doing an AOP run. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if, if only I saw Kyle. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I saw some people in chat asking why I summoned two player for the Lance fight. Um, if my range was a 15 and 16, I would have just went for it. But it was a. It ended up being a 13 and 16, I believe. So I was like, "Nope, we're gonna we're gonna guarantee it." Yeah. Dragonite can just ruin your day if you yeah, don't play I was like, safe. Well, and... it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Good skip for fortunate. Okay. Right, good. All right. So we all we all got Alexa skipped. Did we all get Vermillion skipped too? Nope. Uh... Although no, no one saw me, only not you it, did. So I you know, yeah. maybe I, I, I just got it. <laughs> I noticed a little dance on the way back up. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to show that there was a little uh, something. <laughs> it's like you know, trying to catch an app run, do that skip and fix my intern and all that. All, mm -hmm. all three mm -hmm. of you did get so. Abra, yes. Yeah, yeah, we noticed that on the tracker app. I was, I came out and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna go get the candy." And there was an Abra, and I'm like, "Oh, never mind. That's more important." <laughs> yeah, can we talk about the three for three? Abras on this race? It's the first time I've seen Abra in like five months. <laughs> wow. So if anyone says I should have gone that four out for that route ten chance, then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was fine you with it. I'm like, yeah. I, I saw it on the, on the I mean, like, like, I was like, like you know what? I respect it. It's fine. Yeah, I was like 26 in hideout, so you know maybe I should have. I, I don't think it would have been the worst play in the world, but, you know, Route 10 chance is always like, just, that you never know if it gets in or not. You're not going to bang on not getting uh, gravel or the, that kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. I, I definitely, it was, it was fortunate that you had such a good catch going into tunnel, because the tunnel was uh, not great. Yeah, it was no Graveler, no Machop. I mean, I saw, like, too much shops, but my catch gun was good enough. I didn't want to okay, go dancing sure. around trainers. Oh, you didn't trainers. even want to go for it? Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't want to go dancing around trainers and accidentally hit some. Yeah, speaking of dancing around, I noticed uh, SciJ in Tower, the, you had that gas to spawn right by the spinner. And, yeah, uh, I was like, I'm not going back. I was, like, starting to go back, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to hit the spinner if I do that. Maybe it'll spawn <laughs> later. And, and yeah, did you did get it later, out. so... 
I was like, I don't want to risk that. <laughs> See, I'm looking at the tracker as if anything else was particularly interesting. I did enjoy the uh, the fire blasts going on there. On blue. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did not know Doduo does not evolve if you don't catch anything except... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would have picked Doduo up Mansion Candy, honestly. Me, so <laughs> yeah, that's something a few people have done if they know that, that Doduo hasn't gotten a lot of experience. Just yeah. grab the candy. Like, there was no reason to, to do fire blast threats. I was far enough ahead, ahead to, like, do safe stuff. Like, I mean, you hit it, though, so... Yeah. yeah, I mean, it worked, so... <laughs> also, why do you never get three-turn archers in PB attempts? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that... that was such a good archer fight. Like, yeah, that was a really good archer. Yeah, I think, uh... Oh... I think you were the one that got Thunderbolt turn one, and then everything else went well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Brett I, died on. I, I saw the Thunderbolt, and I'm like, all right, well, this is going downhill. So I had to heal, and then he blows up, and I'm like, oh, never mind. This is great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If you get yeah. the, the Thunderbolt turn one into Boom turn two, he's like, I would say the second best fight. But yeah. you can always get the Thunderbolt cycle. Oh, definitely. I was so happy when uh, he, um, the Raticate went for Sucker Punch and hit the Q-Bone, and as soon as I saw the explosion, I was like, oh man, this just saved this fight. <laughs> uh, fortunate picking up the full restore, so it looks like they will be going for 1C Agatha. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, making their way right out of Victory Road. Uh, I... This is... Probably still PB pace for Fortunate. I believe so, yes. I think so, yeah. Because um, they said they were three minutes ahead um, and nothing really has gone wrong since then. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, what's Fortunate's current PB? Uh, 337.59, I believe. I can okay. check it. Yeah, Fortunate, I believe, just learned this run during SGDQ, like, two yes, weeks ago, at, I think, right? Yes, at Yeah. Uh... There, was a, there was a lot of let's go at SGDQ. Yeah, <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Two... Uh, yep. Yeah. 337.59. Alright. Now, one thing I haven't caught yet, I just haven't been looking at Fortunate screen anytime the, the stats have popped up for Army. I believe Fortunate Army special attack is pretty good, but I don't I know so. how good. I think it's pretty good, and then the extra two rare candies. Oh, um, yeah. I yeah. just assume that things aren't going to be an issue. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like, I think at this point, it's not a question of, you know, are you so far ahead that you skip things, and more a question of, okay, how many ranges are even left for you? Mm hmm. Yeah, I doubt. I, I, there's no way Dragon Age a range with Fort Nipstari right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially because you're going to you're going to see another level before then. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah go you know, up. Know, and you level up on uh, Lance like halfway through the fight. Well, the the level ups are going to come at a different time because of the extra rare candies, um, but it still will happen. And I think he's going to roll over to fifty three, so then it's definitely guaranteed. I think. Yo, everyone, say hi to Fortunate's mom. Hi, hi Fortunate's mom. Hi, Fortunate's mom. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh wait, is Fortunate Army already 53? It's a little hard to yeah. tell on my end right now, but it looks like yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, maybe oh yeah, 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 you're right. We're gonna be hitting 55 before Dragonite, because if we do, those, like, 
If we get 55 for the champion fight, then I should make that fight uh, very, very safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you going, Sai? Yeah, I was about to say, I'm going on a little <laughs> adventure here. Uh, I'm just, just, checking, just checking some, checking some, uh, checking some places out in Cerulean. Chancy, chancy, chancy. <laughs> <laughs> we had enough of those today. <laughs> All right, this Bruno fight, uh, fairly standard. Uh, just give Yonix one turn and then go. I don't even. I wonder, I don't even know if Earthquake Critical would KO from here. Goes just for get Stealth Rock. Stealth so. Rock anyways. Yep. Mm -hmm. And yep, the rest of this fight is just Psychic Spam. Help out her free. <laughs> um, no shinies today that we saw. Yeah, no shinies. It was sad. No shiny. No, no shiny. Yep. I don't think the previous race had any either. Not that I personally saw, but I didn't see the entire race. Mm -hmm. Ow. I may be wiping the Mewtwo. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. He crit the uh. Starmie. He crit Starmie. <laughs> Alright, Fortunate through Bruno. Uh had an into Agatha. Uh I'm assuming we're gonna be seeing one key Agatha here based on picking up the full restore from before. Mm hmm But yeah, we're gonna see a save here. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see if we get uh, Power of Love or just the uh, standard Agatha. Unfortunate that fed the storm is so many candies that I don't <laughs> yeah, much, love them. Can't much love them at this point. <laughs> right, Starmie? Flare. Flare. Okay. Okay. Turn two. Yep. Turn two. We still got a chance. All right, all right. Looking through another a bunch of different hats based on what you get turn one. Mm -hmm. So we got the yeah. speed there. Crunch. Crunch. No defense. Yeah, let's face it. The standard fight here. Yep, standard. Yeah. Let's face it. Agatha is the Pokemon speedrunner's fight for this run. There's the defense drop. Defense Her drop. Should it matter from here though? Yeah. No, I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's not turn one, it's fine. Mm -hmm. two. Yeah. Or turn one, really, to be honest. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> turn one, Crunchy got a whole other set of problems. Yeah. like through Agatha without any issues. Hell yeah. Alright. And two more fights to go. Uh, I know Fortunate mentioned that they were using the Etchies 
beginner note, and I believe at the beginner note do have two C lance and champ. In there I think so, now. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's likely what we'll be seeing. Hey, very important to Ether, the right move <laughs> there. We got it. Yep. I still have yet to make that mistake, and that's just because I am so terrified every single time. Oh yeah, I like I I'll lose like one or two seconds every time just to make sure. Yeah. I I know if I learn Pika, that would be the first thing I do is mess up that menu. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's part of me that just wants to grab the uh, Max Elixir and just use that instead of the Ether. Just leave the Ether in my inventory for the nice menu earlier. I beam. Okay. Yeah, if you get Hyper Beam turn one, you can delay bringing in your partner for a little bit. But uh, definitely easier to just bring it in now and just always do the same fight. Mm -hmm. So definitely should be smooth sailing from here because uh, with this Starmie, it's not going to be a range, and even if it was, Rapid Ash isn't going to have any problems finishing yeah. it out. Yeah. Next stop, victory. <laughs> Almost through Lance here. Did uh did Fortunate actually get a good start, me? I think they did. And Mine, yeah, it was pretty good. And yeah. High level. <laughs> Mine was very average. Change. Yeah, you and Ergo pretty much had like the same star me, where you just had like mediocre special attack. Decent speed. Mm -hmm. A couple of fantastic special defense and attack, though. The most important stat uh, attack. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 157 special attack on that Starmie right now. Oh my god. Jeez. Um, He can go for the plus two Thunderbolts, guaranteed. Yeah, and and you can go for, for the plus four Psychic on Trolteon, no problem. Yep. Jeez. Uh, they may just opt to uh, just do the standard what what they know, though. Right, yeah. especially because I don't know if the beginner notes are going to have the um, um, I don't know if that thing. these beginner notes do. I know the regular ones have the plus two Thunderbolt range. Yeah. Um, yep, oh, sure. yeah. Which is on Pika, actually. Uh, um, the, the, the... Uh, I forgot you have to set up, sometimes you have to set up to plus six on uh, not a Pika version. Yeah, it should be plus four Jolteon should be guaranteed. Here, yeah, but... pl plus four Jolteon at level 55 needs a 143 to be guaranteed. So, like, yeah, we've, this uh, is we've still free. Half that. Yeah, like, honestly, the plus two Thunderbolt range is more brutal than the plus four Psychic Rage on Jolteon. Yeah. I've never gotten the guarantee. I've gotten a, I've got a 15 and 16 once. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the X speed there just so that I don't forget to use it. It could be a problem if you forget. <laughs> yep. Yep. Slash drop a dash standard. And here we 
you're taking a rapid dash. Nice to get that. No power uh, of love. Excellent. Uh, beautiful. And uh, that should be, uh, yeah, that that should be GG for first one then. Yeah. yeah. Barring uh, any strange, strange Joy-Con nonsense. Apparently we're a bit of a robot on the stream right now, but hopefully that fixes soon. Um, because this is hype. This is on its way out the door. For yet another PB in the tournament. Tournament PB, yeah. let's go! Like, honestly, I think we need to start keeping count of how many tournament PBs we get overall. We had three on the first race last night. I didn't see the ending of uh, the second race. Uh, Sheep would have PB'd, but Sheep used a backup. Oh, uh, okay. But I, I had a, uh, had a backup PB. file already for this run, and I went to go check my nature, and it was docile, and my backup was docile, so I'm like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Guess it was destined. Imagine not checking and getting no one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I still need to set up my backup. I'm not going oh. back up. Oh, slow bro. Oh, oh psychic the slow bro. Yeah, guy, yeah. Psychic the slow bro. Light screen. Light screen. Um, this might get him in. Alright, we, right, 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 we did it. <laughs> Alright. We got it. GG fortunate. Took an extra turn. Yeah. So that's still uh, through? The PB was? Uh, 337, uh, I think. Very yeah, nice. 337.59. So we got a nice yeah. uh, about three and a half minute PB here. Or out. Awesome. I can probably stop recording on, on my end. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to record the sleepy EV there for no. 20 minutes? No. I mean, that's the most important part. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, but a very, a very solid race from everyone here. I really enjoyed uh, yeah, commentating GG. and watching. GG's to everybody. Yep. Awesome runs. Yeah, I had I had the stream up the entire race, and like every time I'd look over, like all three of us were like pretty close to each other, and I was like, "Wow, this race is like really sick." Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was definitely very fun. A the three of you, uh, like by from like Rock Tunnel onward, all had like very similar catch counts as well. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, in hideout, or when the two of you were in hideout, and I think Fortunate was finishing tower or something, um, you all had the exact same catch count. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, for, for him, feel free to pop in if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to, though. I've got. I physically muted my mic too. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello, GG. Congratulations on the PB. Yep. GG's. It's, uh, I had a, a run the other day that was better pace that died at uh, Geo Gym. Oh, that, yeah. I got the PB now, though. Feels good. Yeah. It's up 335. Mm -hmm. uh, was there anything specific in your race that you wanted to talk about? Uh, just, I don't know, I said a bunch of optionals, but, you know, I'll get better. It's, I think it's my sixth completed run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely just that practice, learning where, where those, uh, optionals are. Uh, yeah, shoutouts to Etchy for the notes. Shoutouts yeah. to Etchy. I always shoutouts to Etchy for, like, anything in Let's Go, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy's an absolute monster at this game. And I shout out to everyone at GDQ who was playing Let's Go. That got me to do it as well. It's a good speed game. GDQ. 
Uh, let's see. I'm looking at your catch tracker right now. Uh, have you done Noodle Queen strats before in Hideout, Fortunate? I have w once. Okay, I so have... you do have did have that experience. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was like, I, I was when I um I ran from the Nido, ran whatever, Nido Arena. I was like, I was hoping I'd find an Arena male. Surely. But, uh, I didn't. But I'd say, but was it anyway? Because I, I didn't want to waste time going and try and find it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Definitely not worth worth just like staying there forever and then never getting it. Did I anyone? Uh, uh, did anyone keep track of how many spawns spawned like directly in front of my character? <laughs> hey, mine too. <laughs> oh, I noticed. I think it was Ergo. I kept noticing Onyx is just spawning on top yeah, of you Onyx. like three times or something. Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. 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 Catch the first Route one, there was a Rattata that spawned on my foot. There was a there was a Bell Sprout that was my fault. It was just behind the tree. I couldn't see it. Um, and then there was like two things in tunnel that spawned on top of me, and I'm like, stop. Spawn somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, spawns love to be right in your character in this game, huh? Mm. Uh, I really like the Rapidash catch into just pumping candies and uh the star me fortunate oh yeah no ranges on my watch <laughs> <laughs> exactly you had a pretty good star me as well yeah your star me was cracked <laughs> all right oh there's the credits for fortunate <gasps> All right, so with that, that is the conclusion of the third race of the first round of uh, the Pokemon Let's Go tournament. We had uh, a 308 from uh, Ergo, so he will be staying in the upper bracket for round two. All right, we got a 313 from Sai J. Uh, we will await to see if that uh, will stay in the upper bracket. I personally think it will stay in the upper bracket. It was a really good second place time. Mm-hmm. And, and it we is got four... the best second or third place time. Mm -hmm. And we got Fortunate out here with an, a new PB, a uh, 334. So really good showing from everybody here. Uh, any any last words from anybody else? Oh, for GG's everybody. It was a fun race. No. Yeah, awesome job, everyone. All right, yeah, and upcoming a uh, few races throughout this this week. Uh, tomorrow we got Trevaria, Rigby, and Fury. Uh, that will be tomorrow at noon Eastern time, and then later in the week we got Headstrong, Iron, and Nuclear facing off, as well as Joker, Spider, and J titles. So uh, stick around if you're not following the channel. Make sure you uh, are so you can catch those races. And of course, in chat, we have a bunch of other races coming up. We have 13 races in this first round. So make sure to take a look at that calendar and catch what you can. They're all going to be amazing. Absolutely. Um, there's, there's some of these that I'm really looking forward to. I won't be able to catch some of them live. Uh, so just from yeah, scour I'll be, uh, I'll be commentating... The fourth race, uh, Amber, Sandy, King Par. Oh, that's, that's my race. That's exciting. Yep. And Amber is commentating my race. Yep, I'll be there on Thursday night. Uh, I'll be joined by Greta, Fixin, and Corvus for uh, Joker versus Spider versus J titles. I'm excited for that that race. I think that's going to be a really good one. Mm -hmm. And I'll be back up. There's a lot of really good races coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got a, yeah. Uh, like your race is coming up, too, on the 18th. Yeah, yeah, so a week from today, I'm doing my race. I will also be on the mic for the Headstrong Island nuclear race that's on screen right now. Mm -hmm. So a lot, a lot of the people here, are, you'll, be seeing the, you'll be seeing it again at some point soon. So... Uh, yeah, is that anything else from anybody else? I don't know, that's all. Well, for me at least. 
We can let Ergo go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. it's only pretty 3 late. a.m. Come on. <laughs> only 3 a.m. Only 3 a.m. So with that, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hope to see you around again. Have a good thanks, one. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.